talk to my people. It's time to go back live, right? It's time to get back to some serious work, right, Ms. Joan? Time to get back to work. All right. So guys who are with us on our Zoom, so happy to have you. All right. So we are just about live. Okay, beautiful. So we are live. Um, so just give me a moment, those of us who are joining us by way of uh, YouTube, a pleasant day to you all. I'm going to just take this now and share this on to Facebook. Let's copy the link very quick. And I'll share it on our Facebook page. It's now 1028. All right. Let's see how quickly I can do that. And we may have a few persons who Maybe I don't should put mind. A so this blurry is still blurry? Well, right now your camera's no, it's perfect. Okay, it's perfect. On. Make sure everything is clean. Uh, okay. All right, so beautiful. Let me go back now to Zoom. Okay. Okay. So here is all the, the onions. Okay, that's up. good. That's a that's the entire onion. Is that your full onion? No, oh, that's a half. Beautiful. So put that into your skillet. So those of us who are joining us by way of YouTube oh, wait, and in the rice or in the skillet? No, in the rice. Huh? In the rice. And yes. then this skillet. That one we're not gonna cut so small. We're gonna put that coarse and cut, just big cuts. So put that oh. what you have, the purple one in the in the rice pot, in the one for the rice. But these are small, these are cut small. That's it. Right, that's for the rice. Okay, so that's we're gonna the rice. and we're gonna switch this camera. Oh Lord. yeah, that way you that way you don't have to move it. That way it can just be in place. Technically challenged over here. <laughs> That's okay. You're doing very well. Okay. All right. Why don't you so, use a can or something to, to prop prep prop it? So you're making rice and cheese? Like, um, let me see. Mm -hmm. Like like this. Hold on. All right, just let me give you a chance to introduce our audience what we're doing. So hi guys, it's been a forever since you've seen me on a live. I've been going through a whirlwind of a time changing diet because I'm now on a full gluten-free diet. And I had to learn a whole lot of stuff. But today, we are literally on our prayer line, live, still on the prayer line. For those who don't know, there is a prayer line attached to Something Better Ministries now for the past, going into two months, I guess. I don't know exactly how long. But if you'd like to become a part of our prayer line, why don't you drop us a line in the chat and we will send you the link so that you can join us each morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And Marilyn is also a part of the prayer line. And Marilyn wants to learn how to prepare native, like Caribbean food, flavored, like, like it will taste like she's here in the Bahamas or she's on one of the islands, I guess maybe Trinidad. And so we're doing Bahamian peas and rice, which I have done, I guess, on my tube before, but we're doing it again. And I hope that you will enjoy. So I, we both have our pots. There you go, see, <laughs> amen. So we both have our pots with our onions. And so Marilyn, I got a whole fridge full of rice I prepared for my granddaughter. I don't need no rice, but that's okay. I will freeze it for Saba. All right. So, so then I have we'll rice be... like this. I have rice that now... you have rice also? <laughs> so I have okay, I have rice that's like this. I don't know what other rice to find, but this rice. Oh you took it out of the bag so I don't even know what kind it is. Can you, is it long green or, or is yeah, it um, parboil? Is parboil or long green? This is called long green. Long green, that's good, that's good. Very good, very good. All right, with long green, we're gonna put two cups of water to the rice. Okay, beautiful. So we are preparing our pot. So the pot's here and I want her to, well, she doesn't have our tomato paste yet. Her husband just went out. I'm going to add, in the Bahamas, we normally add either not either. Usually it's time. I am clear out of time in my little pantry, but I do have in my garden an abundance of rosemary. So I'm going to use a little bit of this, not too much because it will make it bitter. So what's not too much, I probably would use about refrigerated water. So two cups of refrigerated water. You have, yeah, you can use, um, do you use tap water for cooking or? 
No, this is reverse osmosis water. Ah, I got you. That's what I have here also. So I'm going to rinse my, my, my rosemary because, of course, it just came out of my garden. Little herb garden in the front of my house. Okay. And Kathy was sharing a bit more on why rice is such a staple here in our home, in my home here in the Bahamas. I don't know if she's still with us and she can share that. Is she still here? Yeah, Kathy's still here. So I'm taking my time. Pun intended. <laughs> yeah, I was saying that um, it's it's a it was a staple food in our home growing up. My dad was the primary cook in the home. He was a chef, and uh, he had many skills. But chef was his number one specialty, and peas and rice was a dish served in our home every day, <laughs> and. And uh, it was prepared fresh every day. And like Marlene said, if my mother, if my father decided one day he wasn't going to prepare peas and rice, my mother would be like, Percy, you didn't cook any rice? And he'd run into the kitchen and he'd prepare some cold peas and rice for my mother. Yes, he would. And uh, it was delicious. It was so good. You could eat that peas and rice without anything to go along with it. It was so good. So, so when y'all cooking your piece of rice, add a little thyme. Like, do you add any thyme in it? Please throw a little I don't have any thyme. I'm using rosemary today. I don't have any thyme. Okay. I have rosemary. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, so my dad I, was I like the He's the best cook in the family. The best cook. Yeah. He He's really was. Thyme or rosemary, whatever they have downstairs. Yeah, whichever one they have. But you have the dry thyme. You can use that. Okay. I mean, if you want to wait for him, that's fine. We can wait. That's not a problem. We can wait for him. So our pot is prepped and ready for the rice. What we can do while we're waiting for Marilyn's husband, he has just stepped out to go and get for her um, some of the ingredients that she didn't have. We're gonna get, I'm going to get my skillet. So this is my skillet. Marilyn can get her. I'm just going to rest it on top of there. And I'm going to grab an onion. I'm going to put that into the pot, into our skillet. Because we are preparing two dishes. But rice was a staple and still is a staple here in the Bahamas and the Bahamian diet. The Bahamians love rice. So they I like could, it all on the same I, plate. Go ahead. So I could use the other half of the onion that I yes. have. Yes. Now you're using your next half. Okay. So your let me. Half. So you don't have to cut it too small. You can if you want to, because we're going to be blending this one. I just figured we're waiting for your husband. So we just prep the onion for the next day. Oh, we're blending. So part of blender. Okay. We're not blending yet, but we are going to be blending. Yes. Let me go find the blender. All right. So we're just going to coarsely chop our onions in preparation for our next dish. And if you're joining us by YouTube or Facebook, thank you for joining us. I'm not looking at my chat presently, but I will come over there to see if you have any questions. And I promise you we will do our best to answer. In the Bahamas, rice is a staple. Rice is... If it like today is Sunday and everybody is cooking rice. Okay. Everybody's cooking rice. So it can be coarsely cho chopped. Then you want to get about two to three cloves of garlic and you're going to throw that also into your skillet. All right. Because this is going to be my favorite bean burger, which is the Gabonzo bean burger. It really is my favorite bean burger. So I'm going to drop that into my skillet. Marilyn's okay. doing the same. She's oh, chopping yeah. her onion. Say it again, Marilyn. We have a live student. We have Marilyn from Maryland joining us. Marilyn from Maryland, tell them a little bit about yourself, sweet girl. We got to pause this video for one second and call husband because he has to get garbanzos and pigeon peas, right? Yeah, he, we have it on the list. We have garbanzos on the list and we told him he, he doesn't find pigeon peas and he get kidney beans. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure. Okay. Tell me myself. Okay. But if you want to double check, you always good to do that. But you know, uh -huh. I know we did put it on the list. Let me see. And I'm Dominican, so I'm a Latina. And I married a Caribbean man. So, you know, he likes Caribbean food. And But uh, we're both Yankees. And so I make mostly Yankee food. And it's a struggle to get him to eat stuff. So, it's a struggle to get him to do what? It's a struggle to get him to eat stuff. He oh. Don't really, yeah, he don't really like Yankee food. And I'm not really a good cook at all. So it's a struggle in this household. And so, but 
the Lord has to change that because I, I need to be a good cook for myself and then him second. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> so I'm thinking as a Christian, I need to learn how to cook for him first and then me. But what I want to do is, is that I want to be able to have like 10 good dishes that I can cook that I could present to the church that I can have ready and available for anybody who dropped by that I know that I'm good at it and that for Bible studies, for people to come and eat, neighbors, come eat, Amen. eat and let's be glad and talk and converse. Now my husband is on the phone. So hold on one second. Okay. Okay. No problem. Beautiful. So I'm so happy to have Marilyn with us and, you know, she is, wishing and desiring from she started our group called the melt which is our weight loss program as you very well know that that's what i teach you how to lose the weight and reverse lifestyle illnesses and so she has been saying i need to learn how to cook some bahamian food some caribbean food for my husband and so after the prayer line this morning well we planned it ahead i said we will do something together and so she wants to learn peas and rice so that's why we're doing it today and we're going to do a very quick burger and I hope that she will enjoy. I hope our husband more so will enjoy. So if you're joining us for the first time, I'm Marlene McKinney from Something Better Today. And we have an audience, a live audience. Uh, we have Val, Joan, Miss Aldith, Betty, Clary, Lorraine, Kathy, Galaxy. And we have uh, anybody else I miss? So if you guys would like to open the microphone and say hello to our audience who may be watching, not now, but they may be watching later on. That's the thing. We don't know when they're going to watch, but they may watch it at some point in time. So if you'd like to say hello, you can do that while we wait for Marilyn to come back. Anybody so want to say hello? So said that there's no brownie in the store. He That's said okay. that they, we don't have need pigeon peas. We, they have yeah. pigeon peas? They have pigeon peas, which I'm surprised, and garbanzos. And I think the only thing they don't have is brownie. That is beautiful. We don't have to have browning. Browning is not a must. It's just color. Okay, that so he's so going to nice. call back. So he's so going to nice. call back. Oh, wait okay. a minute. I have browning. Don't I have, what is this? I have soy sauce Bragg's amino. No, nah, that's just, you could use it in your rice for flavor, but no, it's not going to give any color. Okay, well, <laughs> that's okay. It doesn't have to be brown. It's just a Bahamian thing. Rest in okay. the Makes the rice look a little darker than it really is. Okay, guys, I, I'm giving you the liberty to say hi if you'd like. You can open that microphone and say hello. Hello, Facebook. And YouTube. <laughs> and YouTube. <laughs> yes. You know, Ms. Joan is always our number one of our number one um, supporters, guys. But now you get to actually hear her voice. And if she wants to open the camera, you get to actually see her, too. That can always oh, tie her. <laughs> What'd you say, Ms. Joan? Yeah. My hair is good, so I can open the camera. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me grab my towel, wipe my hands. Let's do this. All right, come in now, come in. Joan says she's, she not, oh, she looking all cute, you see? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to a wedding later. <laughs> oh, you're going to a wedding. Oh, hopefully mine will be soon. <laughs> I'm just teasing, I have nobody. Hallelujah. <laughs> there goes Miss Joan. There goes Miss Joan. Hi, Miss Joan. I'll replace you with me. How about it? Oh, but you closed your camera. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, so the husband missed the assignment. He didn't realize we need both the pigeon peas and the garbanzo. So he's going to go back online and get oh, the garbanzo. Oh, you only got one. You only got one. Yeah, we need both. Yeah. Because we're making a yeah. burger and we're making the rice. Yes. So one's for okay. the rice, one's for the burger. All right, go ahead, Miss Joan, but your camera is closed. You got to open your camera. No, I changed my mind. <laughs> Miss Joan, don't change my Hello? mind. Hello? I already have you tagged. You can't change your mind. Hello? <laughs> Miss Val, go on, tell her, open that camera. <laughs> you look beautiful. What's the problem? You look very pretty. Oh, uh, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Back to it takes room. courage. It takes courage. It does. It does. It does. All right. Well, go ahead and say hi, Miss Joan. It Go on, Miss Joan, say hi. Hello, everyone. <laughs> it takes courage. Right. So Miss Joan is not a rice here. lover. Am I right, Miss Joan? No, I'm not. She's not. <laughs> She'll do, she says, that's too much carbs. That's too much carbs. So I know she's not probably going to cook this. It's not so much that it has too much carbs, but I don't feel 
that it has enough nutrients because they've stripped it of so much, you know. Yeah, but we can use the brown rice. I got brown rice right here. I, I always do the brown rice. I just oh, don't care I for this brown brand. Rice. It's not my favorite brand. It's not my favorite. I shouldn't sit it on the TV like that. Let's use it's brown rice. It's not my rice. favorite brand. Yeah, it's what not my favorite brand. Longer? It if takes longer. It takes two hours to cook. Two hours. Oh. Yeah, it takes two hours. But it's more nutrition, so. But if we're doing the brown rice, then we're going to go in the oven. I don't want to do it by stove top. We'll go oven style, which is oh. fine. Which is fine. Which is fine because the um the beans the, the burgers are going in the oven too. So you so want me to do, do that? The, do you want me to do the brown rice instead? Let's do the. I've never done it on TV, so let's do it. Let's do the brown rice by oven style. That's that's nice. I love that. So we we'll do it oven oh, style. Yes. Yes. I don't know if I have oven so we're gonna style. do. Huh? I don't, I don't know if I have oven stuff. What do I need? You, just need, a, you need a, just a casserole dish for it to go in. Just a casserole dish. We're going to put everything in the casserole dish. A casserole. Okay, I think I might have that side. I'm sure you do. Yeah. Very good. So I've never done this by oven style by YouTube. So YouTube, now that's what you're getting today. So I'm going to empty this out of my skillet right quick. Because I'm going to use the skillet to put my What do you mean? Like a Pyrex here. thing like this? Oh no, it has to be oven safe. Food safe. It has to be like a casserole dish. Like that can go in the oven? It may be able to, I just don't know. Let me show you. Let me get one out of my oven. Uh, let me grab one so you can see it, what I'm talking about. Hold down for me. I gotta find one. This one is second, guys. I'm coming now. Here we go. Let me show you what we're going to do. Right. So something like this, Marilyn, like a dish, an actual casserole. Oh, no. I'd have to rinse it. Mine's a little dusty. All right, beautiful. So we'll do brown rice. So Miss Jones' concern with rice is that it's been stripped. We're using the brown rice today. It has more fiber. The nutrients are all intact because it's not been stripped of its um, nutrients. And so it would be the best of the rice. You do want to get a colander or a strainer because we are going to rinse the rice after measuring. After measuring, we will rinse the rice. Okay. So I want Marilyn to take her. Let me see that one. That's how big is it? How big is that? And I'm going to come to YouTube in a minute to see if anybody's conversating. I'm okay. Sure. So this that is a big enough. And it says microwave safe, no broiler, and no stove top. So this is a Pyrex. This should be. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. That is and good. This, and this is, uh, how, what size is this? This one is 2.75 quarts or 2.6 liters. So this should be big enough, right? That's good. That's good. Okay. Yes. We'll only do three cups of rice. Maybe that's it. I don't even have three cups. I'm going to do two cups of rice. Okay. I, so I only have, yeah, we can do two to three cups. That's good. Very good. Two cups of rice. All right. All right. So here's what I need you to do, Marilyn. The, the onions that we had cut and putting in the pot, please put that into your skillet for me. Can you set, you have already added your onions to the skillet for the burgers? No, right? No. Okay. Can you put them in your skillet for me, please? We're going to yes. cut them down just a little prior to putting it in the rice. All right. I love that we're doing it oven style. I like it because one, moms and dads can bake while they are working and doing other things around the house. All right. So it's very, very um, easy to do that. And then, Ms. Joan, and for those who are also concerned about the rice aspect, I'm putting peas in there. Right. You can add beans to that. And remember, one cup of beans has 16 grams of fiber, just about. So you still have lots of fiber, lots of nutrients. And guess what else? Guess what else? Here's the most beautiful part of it. Peas and rice is a complete meal. With a salad and some steamed veggies, you have a complete meal. Because of the beans that have been added to the rice, it makes it a complete protein. So all you needed really, well, my sister said earlier, she remembers when my dad would cook the rice, it would taste so good that you can eat it just by itself. And so that's the whole idea here. We want to cook that rice so good. It can be eaten by itself, but it really, and truthfully, it could have been eaten by itself with a salad and some steamed veggies because it is a complete meal. 
Once you have the carbs and the protein, you bring it together, that's a complete meal. It takes about four and a half hours for digestion. So in truth, it's correct. All right. So I'm going to take my onions. And I'm going to put them on my um, stove top. I'm going to add a tablespoon of tomato paste, which I'm not really measuring like that. I'm just not, I'm, I'm eye measuring. All right. So I grab my spoon. Now you don't have your tomato paste yet. So you're waiting. That's so not a probably, tablespoon. I'm about to measure. I'm about to measure. I'm about to measure. You I'm took it to a beginner here. Yeah, I have my measuring. See, look, I got my measuring spoon. Let's see. It's two. One. It's two. Two. Okay. Two, two, two tablespoons. Yeah. <laughs> two tablespoons. I'll put the rest back. You only need about two tablespoons. All right. And if you didn't want to use tomato paste, you can use things like fresh tomatoes. Just cut the tomatoes up. And you cook it down long enough. Because I have a friend who doesn't use tomato paste. He just uses a lot of fresh tomatoes. And he cooks it down long enough that it literally becomes almost like a paste to a burning. Almost like a burning in the pot. That's what he does with his own. All right? So let's wash that spoon. Put that away. We'll need that later. Then I'm going to take about a tablespoon of coconut oil. And this is native coconut oil made here in my country in an island called Andros, where my father was from. My sister-in-law gave gifted me a bottle. And I'm so, I use it just sparingly because I don't want it to waste too much quickly, right? It has a nice smell because it's of course homemade. So I'm putting that in my frying pan, okay? So we're gonna cook this down. One tablespoon of coconut oil? Yeah, about a tablespoon. I added about a tablespoon. We don't need any, to be honest. When I cooked at my kitchen at something better, we didn't use any oil at all because a lot of my customers were very sick people. And so we tried to avoid using anything like that. All right, so I'm gonna just drop this on top of my stove and let it start cooking. I need my cover for it. I'm coming. So I'll just, just drop this on top time. of my stove. I'll be in just in time, babe. I need, quick, 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 I need tomato paste. <laughs> Thank God for hubby. Hallelujah for hubby. Hubby, you see how much of how much you work? What would we, we do without you? <laughs> what would we do without him? We would do nothing. We can't do anything without you. So thank you so much, hubby, for going out and getting oh. the ingredients that Marilyn needed. Oh, organic. Wow, organic chickpeas. Get that, that's these good. Organic all right, fruit. guys. I'm just going in my cover, trying to find my cover. There we go. Um... Hubby will mm. always pick organic first. That's the best thing. I'm almost in a dungeon here looking at my cupboard. My lips up cupboard. There we go. All right. Okay, spoonful number one. Spoonful number two. Let me make sure my camera leg is not about to go kaput on us. Okay, so wow. that's done. So we have- Awesome, so, so you can my, see. So this is my stove top and it just says low two, awesome. four, five, and six. Say that again. My stove is electric and it says- Oh. Low two, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and high. I would just go kind of medium because it cooks fast. Yeah, I wouldn't go too, not to the highest. I am going to cover my pot. I'm going to cover my pot. I'm going to take you guys over here. Give me a minute. Just to really set my, um, let's put that away. We're not doing the long grain or the parboil. We're doing. Okay. So okay, we're going guys, to put that on medium. So medium will be like my pot. Stove. I'm going to put it halfway in the middle. Babe, this is a live thing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. He's washing his hands. That's okay. It's good. So if you're just joining us, it's Marilyn and Marlene, and Marilyn's in Maryland, and Marlene's in Nassau. And we have Miss Joan and Val and a few friends who are with us here on our YouTube, on our um, Zoom. So I'm going to cook them down. Listen, that smells good as though that we already have something in there. So it's crazy. Hey, go ahead. Go ahead. So we need this kind of food? So we need this kind of food? Okay. Say it again. Yes. And let's kind of cook it down. You want to just kind of, um, the word here is you want to. Uh, Do I, I supposed to put garlic in here? 
Yeah, you could put a clove of garlic. Why not? I have one no, here I can borrow from my here. Put one clove of garlic, can. chopped. We are doing native Bahamian peas and rice. Okay. But we're doing it oven style because we're going to be using brown rice. And to me, brown rice cooks perfect when it's in the oven and not so much on the stove top, unless you're using a rice cooker. And we're not using a rice cooker today because everybody doesn't have a rice cooker, but most of us have an oven. You know what I'm saying? Are you using a cast iron pot? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. Yes, I am. So, so I can, I can actually do the entire rice are we in using my cast one? iron. Are you talking one about One clove. Just thing? one. Just one. Just take one of those. Just one. Just one. Oh, there goes my camera. I'm sorry. That's bad. You don't know the clove or the whole bulb or whatever. Right? No, one clove. One clove. You could save the rest. You could put two if you want to because you like garlic. I like garlic. I don't know. Yeah, so I'm going to put another one in it here. Yeah, it can I hurt it. That's for sure. Maximum flavor. Maximum flavor. I hear you, girl. Max, maximum three. You putting three? Okay, that's yeah, too much. <laughs> okay, so then two is good. Yeah, so two, is, two is good. Two. two is good. And then I have this video to refer back to. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so we're cooking it down a little first, and um, is this because heating? my oh. because my pot can take it. This is a cast iron. It goes right into the oven. I'm going to just add everything else right to my pot. How about it? I've never done rice in there, but I definitely have done cornbread in here. I've done other foods in here. Gone straight into the oven. So I think it's beautiful. My onions are cut as big as my head. <laughs> Woo! Okay, Marilyn, so how are you looking? Let's see your pot. Okay, sister. well, mine is not heating up as nicely. I don't don't take it straight to high. Take it to high. Take it to high. Okay. Take it too high. I was just, you know, electric works faster than the gas to me, it doesn't mean. And look what I have. I'm going to wish I would have it was right. It came from our yard, Kathy, in Oaksville, where we grew up. Look at that. Yumminess. That's an avocado growing in our yard in Oaksville. Okay, good. So here's what we're going to do, Marilyn. We get our rice. We measure our rice. Okay. okay. Everything from here on in has to be accurately measured. Too much liquid, and you're going to have what we call in the Bahamas sticky rice. Well, friendly. And we don't want friendly, we want it to be what? Perfect. Let me just take that up in the wrong direction. That's better. So we want we want to measure our rice. Okay. So my own is just about where it needs to be. I'm gonna turn it down just a little. In my skillet, I have my onions, I have a little tomato paste for those who are just joining us. Thank you so much, Nicole, for joining us. And then we also have in there. A little bit of rosemary or thyme. I didn't have any thyme. Maybe so I'm time. adding rosemary. So you can add right. your thyme to your pot now, um, Marilyn. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna... is good. Let How it cook much down. How much thyme this do stuff. I have? So this is the one I have. This is a, a box oh, of those... Beautiful. Take one of those stems out. Let's see it. You can do probably two of those, maybe three of those, because it's just very scanty. Yeah, like about this? a teaspoon in full. Yes, that's good. That, that's probably a little too much, but let me see. I can't. I'll take one of those out. You don't need all of it. Okay, beautiful. So this is ready. And I'm going to, I have my other camera open. I know you can probably see me. I so have basically, my... I have the whole, the whole thing. Yeah, it's still too much. Okay. It's too much. Because we only cooking. How much rice do you have? I wouldn't put uh -huh. more than three cups in your in your pan. I want to make sure it fits. Okay, I have two cups. All right. You have two cups of rice? Yeah, so no, you don't need all of that. If you okay, have only two I cups of finally... rice, then you don't want all of that time. So put the time in there for me. Okay. I put the time in there, and now it's finally heating up. I'm going to add camera so they can see what I'm doing. I'm adding... Um, uh, add spotlight. So now we have three cameras. So I have my one cup measure. So get your one cup measure. I'm turning my own down. It's Wait, bring the fan a little bit over. And close this door. So do we, you want to close all the doors so does it smell like food in, in, in the bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> and our clothes smell like this stuff. <laughs> you'll be going, you'll be going smelling like the, you're from the Bahamas. All right. <laughs> 
So I don't know how much rice I have, but whatever I have. I'm using today Mahatma brown rice. It's long grain rice. And it's whole grain rice. Um, oh, I have Mahatma. A, I have oh, Mahatma. So we both are, hold on, let's do a Mahatma commercial for them. <laughs> hey, Mahatma. Anybody remember the Mahatma commercial? In the Bahamas, the Bahamas only cooks Mahatma rice. It's oh, Mahatma oh, rice. <laughs> That's what they say. Down. So good. I want you okay, to turn it down a little. Turn it down a little. And we're taking our time because we want Marilyn to get this Bahamian rice. Whole grain rice. Loving it. Loving it. So, and we're going to take um, a comment from our audience. Kefi, you want me to spotlight you? Kefi? Miss Kefi? I see Miss Kefi opened up her camera. Okay, here's what I want you to do, Marilyn. I want you to take it. Hold on. I want you to, you, you want to rinse your rice. Don't you want to rinse that? So get a bowl. Okay, okay, see, yeah. look, at my, look at my measuring cup. One cup. Look at that. One cup. You see it? I don't see. I only see your skillet. Oh, so you're not seeing me. Aha. How come? I've spotlighted me, but you're not seeing me because you're on a phone. That's why. T um, turn your, just, what you, how you say that, guys? Just um, turn, turn to the next page. Turn to the next page. I don't know if that's how you say that, but I'm saying it the right now you see me? No, you don't. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You move. And watch me. I'm going to... Now you can see me, right, Marilyn? You can see me, Marilyn? Yes. I can't hear you. You mistakenly muted your microphone, darling. <laughs> Let me turn my stove down. She muted herself. <laughs> yeah, I just told her. Okay, She's am I on muted you. now? You can see me now, right? Yeah, I can see you now. Good. Oh, so this is my one cup measure. I'm going to take it. I'm going to put the so camera down so you can see. Yeah. So watch me. Okay, one cup. Rinse one cup. Rice. Okay, guys, one cup. I'm thinking I may have exactly two cups. That's one. It went into my bowl that I'm going to use with my... Look at that. Look at God. Oh, Look at God. Oh. I only have one and three quarters, so I'm going to add to that some of my regular rice. It's okay. Is my dad would do it, right, Kathy? Wouldn't my dad do that? Go ahead, sweetie. Say it again. Say it again, babes. It burns? Uh -oh. Turn this it off. Turn it off. This is looking mm. brown in here. That's good. Is that bad? That's good. No, no, no. Leave it. Just turn. move it off the stove. Take it off and put on another area, another burner. Okay. So we have two cups of rice. Good. We have our two cups of rice. And I'm putting that in my bowl. I know you can see because I can see because I'm looking at the same monitor you're looking at. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to rinse this. Okay, I'm going to rinse this. Let's turn that down. Okay, so the hubby rinsed it. Now what's next? Put it in your pot. Your husband okay. rinsed it. See, I need a hubby here to rinse stuff for me. Come on, guys. <laughs> Woo, that's a great team. That's what called teamwork makes. What is it? Teamwork makes the dream work. Dreamwork. See, but Kevin, he is, according to Kevin, he's the head chef in this family. Oh, okay. But that is a lie. <laughs> no, it's a joke. It's, a, it's okay. It's okay. I don't mind him being. He could be the head. Let him be the head chef. He could be the head was, chef. Listen to me. My dad was the head chef. Kathy, tell that my father was the head chef. My dad did all the cooking, and my mother did all the gardening. I am not lying. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna go back to my camera, right to my oven. He, he was the head chef of some of Nassau's finest hotels. For many years. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. And um, some of his um, bosses would bring him bring him to their home to cook for them. I remember he had a boss that lived not too far away from her. And my father mm. would often go to his home and cook for him. Mm. Um, when the family mm. had gatherings, they'd say, call Percy. Percy can cook our macaroni and our rice. And I said, oh, he was the best fried fish. He, my father fried the absolute <laughs> best five fish in the world. He really did. He and, really and you know, did, guys. And, and, you know, and you know what was interesting? My dad was a vegetarian. 
He didn't eat fish the whole time he was cooking it, but he knew how to season it and make it taste just right. But he never mm -hmm. ate it. He was a vegetarian all my life. He was a vegetarian. He was a, he was always a vegetarian. But since since before I was born, he was a vegetarian. But he always he didn't eat he didn't fish. eat chicken and stuff. But, no, no, yeah, he didn't no. eat those things. He was not a, yeah. a plant based vegetarian. But he never, he never ate chicken, fish, anything. But he's the best fish fryer in the world. Oh my goodness, he was a good <laughs> chef. He worked okay, on the cruise ship. He was a chef on the cruise ship as brown well. Came up. Okay, so it's in here. Let me hold on one second. So we have Kefi's going to be in and out over for a second. So we just that's my sister Kefi, guys. Go ahead, please. Marilyn, with okay. your question. I need a charger, quickly, because I need a charger. So turn off your stove for me, Marilyn, because at this point, I just wanted to dextrinize the rice just a little bit. So I just had it kind of cooking down, but there's no because when you dextrinize it, then it cooks even faster. Dextrinize simply means you kind of let that heat get to it and toast it a bit. Okay, so I don't want it to burn, so I'm turning mine off. So I have two cups of rice in my skillet with so delicate and marley. So now we're heading on to our liquids. This is very critical, and I need you to really follow, because if you don't do this, then your rice is going to be soggy, and you don't want soggy rice. Okay, guys? Okay. So it's one and three quarter cups of liquid to your one cup of rice. So one and three quarters and one and three quarters. Who's my mathematician in the group? Come on, guys. Somebody open that camera. Open that open that microphone and tell me how many cups of rice with water we need to our two cups of rice. I don't see nobody opening that thing. It's one and three quarter cups of liquid to, <laughs> come on. Miss Joan, where are you going? That's Miss Joan. Miss Joan, where are you going, Miss Joan? <laughs> it's one and three quarter cups of liquid. I'm going to add me here so you can see how I'm really emphasizing how important it is that we get the liquid. It's like soap making, Nicole. Nicole, you still here? It's like soap making. If you don't do this, you know what's going to happen to your soap, right? It'll be messed up. So if it's, if it's one and three quarter cups per rice, cup of rice, is how much? Three and a half. There you go. Go to the top of the class. So we need three and a quarter cups. Now, Marilyn, this is very important. Okay. Marilyn, I'm putting you ain't put three. No water, you ain't put no water in that pot, eh? Yeah. In that pot, there's water? In the skillet. Hold on. Only thing in your skillet is rice, onions, tomato paste, and thyme. Nothing else. Well, I just poured some water. You told me to pour no! some water? No! Did I tell... Excuse, class, did we tell Mar pour that water out of that rice? You don't have to throw it away, pour it out into a bowl, and we're going to measure it back in there. It's very important. You, you added the rice, rice and water, but you didn't add your coconut milk and the water from your beans. Everything adds up. Ah, no, so pour it out. Is, wait, wait, wait. All I put no, you need to pour it out. Pour it out. Pour it out. This is, this, this is a science. Cooking is a science. For those who didn't know, cooking is a science. Right? So pour the water out for me into a bowl, oh, into a bowl. And then we're going to measure it back in there. For us, make it as dry as possible. See, my own is dry. I dextrinized. I, I put my own down in the skillet first. Come on, baby girl. Let's do this, girl. Let's do this right. Hello. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Okay, hold on one second. We're going to do so this pour right. all of the liquid out. Pour all the liquid out. Make it as dry as possible. Pour it into a bowl. And then we're going to measure it back in there. Okay? We're going to measure it back in there. Okay, so we need three and a half cups of liquid. Right, Nicole? So let's do it. Let's measure our liquids. Uh-oh. Three and a half cup. Three and a half cups. So we're using, you all know you can use your can opener like that. Anybody knows that? It's my trick. <laughs> I was taught this. My my friend taught well, me. Well, luckily this. I only had basically all I had was one. I listened to one and three no. quarter cup. No, ma'am. I only put one and three quarter cups of water in there. Awesome. I in still need you to stick with the program. Let's stick with the program. Okay. We want that because we have to, it has to be, if it's going to come out perfect, it has to be accurate. Okay. So put that rice back into that dry pot. Beautiful. Good stuff. Very good. Now here's what I need you to do, sister. <laughs> now is here. Here's what I need you to do. So watch what I'm doing, guys. See, this is I wonderful. When you have a rookie mistake, 
and how to fix a rookie mistake. This is this is important. How they do it. This is important. I love your accent. She got that strong New York accent, that Yankee. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. So we all take off this camera. We all know me. I have all the computers going in this house. I literally have three devices going. Let's remove spotlight and let's stick with this one. So here we are. So what I want you to do is this. I want you to see that. I kept my water though. Okay. I kept my water. You see how much water is in that there? Okay. You see? So then I want you to put this in your skillet. So I'm gonna have to open the next camera again. I can bring the skillet over. How about it? How about it? How about it? How about it? Let's bring the skillet over. Okay, so we're gonna put this in here, the garbanzo beans, right? I'm no, strong. the pigeon peas. Pigeon the peas, beans, pigeon beans. peas. Yes, ma'am. The pigeon peas, pigeon peas, green pigeon peas. My own is dry. Mine is a dry pigeon peas. Mine is not green, but that's good. The flavor is amazing. So I just took my water and I separated. I kept my water though. I kept my water. I want the water. I'm going to put this, the pigeon peas, Marilyn, look where it goes. In my uh -huh. rice, my dry rice. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, mine is rice. wet, but that's all right. Okay. Yeah. So stir it in. So that's just like that. Beautiful. And okay, we have good. the stove is off. The stove is off, right? Thank you, baby girl. Thank you very much. Stove is off. Then I'm going to get my measuring cup. Uh, I need a half cup measuring cup. My measuring cup so far. I'm a coming. I'm a coming. Okay. So we need, we need Marilyn, one and a half cup. Sorry, three and a half cups of liquid. Right? Put that away. Okay. So we haven't put the coconut milk yet. We haven't done the coconut milk yet. We want half a tin of coconut milk, half a cup, half a tin. You can do as much as a cup, but a half a cup is fine for me. If you want more, I want you to measure that into your measuring cup. You have one of these. Look at my own. You have one of those glass yeah. measuring cups. Good. So can you get yeah. that and pour for me half a cup, half a cup. That's four ounces. You can do more. You girls on, online this morning, how much would you add? My Jamaican, Bahamian, American friends, how much would you add? And you can make okay, your own, four. obviously, right? So it's so I'm going to put, put this in the, in the... Don't put it in yet. She likes to run. Y'all see she likes to run, right? Take the water from your beans. Add it to that cup. <laughs> put it on the counter. She likes to run. She don't be, listen, she don't be walking. She be running, right? <laughs> she be running fast. Okay. Look here. This girl, I got to keep up with her. I don't know how hubby keeps up with her. She be running. So I have one cup. Look at that. I have one cup. How much did we say we needed? Three and a half. So I have one cup. One. That's my coconut milk and a little bit of the water from my beans. It's going, well, my, my piece going into my pot. Okay, so I'm going to go. need the bigger... We need the bigger measuring cup, so. Well, no, I'm just doing it one cup at a time. I'm just doing it one cup at a time. So I use all my water from my pieces. I like that. Why not? It's my choice, right? I used a half a cup, four ounces of coconut milk. And I forgot I had some here in the jar. Ooh, I forgot to use it. Hopefully it's still good. Okay, so now we have... All right, so and you said one cup from this, so two cups from this. Let me see what you got. Okay, so I put. I can't see what you. I couldn't I see what one, she did just now. You have one, okay, one cup so full is, already. You have one cup. So this one is cup, one you put cup. It down, you put it down, and you you're looking at it like, oh, I'm looking at mine. Put it on the counter. When yeah. You put so on the right now no. it's at one and a half. Right now, now I want you to put it on the counter. <laughs> put it on the counter. Okay. Right. Now I want you to go down with it. Knees first. Right. And then you look to see if it's actually one and a half cups or one and a quarter, whatever you think it is. It's one and a half. One and a half. Great. So pour that into your okay. rice. Now, what is that? Tell me what is in there. What is in, what is in there? There's coconut That's milk cool. and then the gombanzo. And, and then uh, the pigeon peas and the pigeon peas water. It has water in there. There's a pigeon peas liquid in there, and then the coconut milk, and that's it. Okay, so put that so in your rice. One and a half. Right, okay, so put it in your rice. Beautiful. Pour that into the rice. 
I love this. I think this is the way I will do my classes from here on in. Who else is next? <laughs> I think this is the way the class should go. Do y'all agree? Miss Joan, what you think? Because we assume that people understand, and I want you to really get it. I want you to, I need yeah, you to yeah. really get it. So oh, I think yeah. it'd be great if we do classes this way. Yes. Yeah. So one and a half. I really should invite the people from, oh, wow. Guys, I am, I'm so sorry. Let me invite, let me invite, um, people from the melt to join us. Wow, I forgot. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Share it. Um, copy the link. Okay, Marilyn, so we need another, so Marilyn, we need another cup and a half of, of water. Um, another cup and a half of water, okay. Yes. Just water, just water, right? Yeah, just plain water. So we're not using no. this? So what are we gonna do with this? What that water is it? Yeah, pour that into your cup and let's measure it. Pour that into your cup. Yes, we got to use that because that's the water that you had. Yeah, pour that into your cup. Yeah, that's the one water where I made a mistake. Sorry, oh, we need... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How much is that? We need more than one and a half cups. We need one half, one and a half plus a half. You need two cups of water. Right, right, Nicole? Nicole is keeping us true to the word here. Yeah. <laughs> right. So we need, because we need three, three and a half cups. So now let me add some more water. So I've already added one cup because for every cup, we need one and three quarters. That's two cups. And you could add a little more coconut milk if you wanted to. The flavors are phenomenal with the coconut milk. I think I'm going to add me a little more coconut milk. So that's three cups and I need a half. So I'm adding okay. Miss Marilyn. I added three quarter cups of coconut milk because I just felt like having a little more flavor of the coconut milk. Okay. So I'm adding, I already have my three cups in my skillet. Am I right, guys? So now I just need the um half. okay. So we're gonna put so I'll put another half a cup. We're gonna put another half a cup of so there goes my coconut water in water. this water. Mm-hmm. Let's see if I can get that to share, right? Okay, so um, now we are at we now we are at two, we almost at two cups. So let me need a little bit more water. Sharing the right one. Okay, so we have. All right, so now we're at two. We need three and a half cups of liquid. So we did that already. So we're gonna put. How much? How much do you have? You said. So now I'm gonna pour this in the rice. Wait, wait. How much you, you pour it? Before you pour it, how much is it? How many? How many cups do you have totally already? Because she already put a cup and a half. Because so didn't how much we have one and a half before? Yes, ma'am. I just one and a sure. half to four, and this is two cups. Okay. This is two no. cups plus one so and a half. So that's it. That's it. That's it. No more. There's no more okay. rice. No more. No more. So liquid. now we're pouring this in here. Yes. This looks good. Right. Oh, praise God. Oh. Praise God. Heaven is going to love this. Okay. Now we season it. Now we got to season it up. Now we flavor it, oh, okay? Wow. And I'm gonna put a little browning in mine. You don't have any browning, but in the Bahamas, we'd add a little browning, just a little. Oh, okay. So how much browning would you use? Um, it, because it how turns bitter, would you, you would, yeah, I'm telling you now, because it goes bitter, you don't want to do more than a teaspoon and a half or so, okay? Because it goes bitter. It go, if you add too much, then it's bitter. You add just the right amount. I wouldn't go over a tablespoon for sure. I would not. Right now, it's still not, as dark as we would like it here, because they like dark and lovely. So that's two teaspoons full, Marilyn. Beautiful. Your stove's not on, correct? You shouldn't have it on. No. Then I'm gonna get my coarse salt. In the Bahamas, they add black pepper, but I'm gonna add me some cayenne pepper, right? We use black pepper. They put a little dash of black pepper. Let me tell you something, that tastes so good in my rice. Woo! <laughs> I gotta find my cayenne, my cayenne, my cayenne. Ay, ay, ay. You could use some of your Bragg's liquid aminos if you want it. The Bragg's makes it taste really flavorful. Ah, uh, cayenne. There we go. Okay, I but I'm, have, allergic, um, I'm allergic to the soy. Fine, I have super fine pink Himalayan salt. Beautiful, beautiful. So you want to start off with? I would say. Babe, do we uh -huh. have any more? Babe, do you know if we have any of that that salt that um? What is it that? That in that blue bag of salt? We don't have no more. You want that? Is Celtic salt or something? Okay, well, we got pink Himalayan salt, and that's going to be good fine. enough for today. That's fine. 
I'm starting no. up with about well, what, what the measurement. Measure. I, I have to hear me say, let me get my measure. <laughs> okay. So I'm starting out with a teaspoon and a half. I started with a teaspoon and a half. That's all I'm adding. And a dash of salt, a dash of cayenne for me. I like a little dash. All right. No more than that. A stir to see the flavor. Now, my salt is very coarse, so it probably won't dissolve right away. That's the thing. My salt is very, very coarse. One teaspoon. I did a teaspoon so and a half. Oh, so I Say it again, Miss Jones. One teaspoon. I said that looks so good. So good. One teaspoon. <laughs> And a quarter. So a quarter is two teaspoons, one quarter, another quarter, and then one oh, uh, full one. Right, exactly. Now, like I said, my salt is very coarse, so it won't dissolve right away, but it's very sticky, so, so I don't want to add too much salt because it sneaks up on us. So mine is I mean, very fine, so it'll dissolve right away. It tastes really good. It's uh, Taste super it. fine. Mine is super Ooh, fine. A little spicy. <laughs> Taste it. Okay, so you said a dash. So a dash, let me see how I much you dash. <laughs> I put too much of a dash. My dash is 90,000 heat units. Ooh. Anyways. Okay, good. It looks good. Doesn't it look good? Guys? Okay, oh, yes, really yeah. good. A dash is one eighth teaspoon. Of a teaspoon. Yeah, you got it a right. Dash you did. Is one eighth. Because yes, I have a measuring because <laughs> it tells me. It is a dash. A, a dash, dash is a name. <laughs> okay, Marilyn. Marilyn's like, use it. For those beginners, that's, like a me who don't that's a lot. That's a lot. I don't even do that much. I didn't do that much. That's too much. Wait, hold on. My hold gosh, on, Marilyn. My hold on. Don't put that uh, much. Yeah, I don't put that much. I only put it. I really it's just literally did a dash. It's a, but you like spicy food? Mm, no. Good. Oh, you don't? Okay. Then, yeah. So we're going to do one pinch. A pinch is one sixteen. Yeah, do one sixteen. Just put a pinch, yeah. Marlene. Just a pinch. <laughs> a pinch is one sixteenth of a teaspoon. I For would put two teaspoons of salt in this, Marlene. I put two teaspoons of salt in that. No, that's okay. The pepper. She's talking about the pepper. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would put two teaspoons. I'm talking of salt, about Marilyn. the cayenne. I'm talking about the cayenne. Yeah, it's up to you. It's up to your spice. Remember, it's salt and pepper to your taste. It's always salt and pepper. Well, I don't know. So we're gonna do a pinch. So and this I is did a regular. Dash, this is, that's a regular. Then it's not so hot. This is a regular cayenne pepper I have. It's not so hot. This is a regular. Cayenne. Yeah, it's only forty thousand. Mine is ninety thousand. Okay. Do okay. I have okay. man? I should have used my organic one. Hmm. Okay, y'all pray for my phone, church. Pray for my phone. My phone won't come back on. Okay, let's plug it okay, in. Let's see what happens. Good. Okay, I'm coming now. I'm just seeing what happened into my phone. Oh, so wait a minute. So paprika is not cayenne pepper. Paprika is red. not cayenne pepper. That's it's okay. It's red. not. Yeah, paprika. What is paprika? Who in my class can tell her what is paprika? What's paprika, guys? So do we need black pepper? Do we need black no, pepper? No, no, no. I don't use it's paprika. I don't use black pepper. Tomatoes. The Bahamians, Bahamians like black pepper. Go on, tell her what is what is paprika. Sorry, go ahead. Rounded tomato. No. No. What's paprika? It's ground something, yes, but it ain't tomatoes. Not exactly right. I won't say no. It is actually roasted bell peppers, roasted yeah. red bell peppers. Yeah. Okay, now what I'm going to do, Marilyn, you could pour that into your into your pan that you're going to bake it in. Pour it into your pan that you're going to bake it in. Grease your pan first. Okay. I would. Grease your pan a little first. I'm going to bake my own right in my skillet today, I think. Why not? I like that. Well, I can't <laughs> bake it in the skillet. You know, this one is stainless steel. And then I don't, I don't worry know. about the black. Can that go in the oven? This handle, this handle, know. everything is stainless steel. You'd have is to it? look on the bottom to see if it's oven safe. Go to the bottom. Yeah. Okay. And see. So I need to see if it's yeah, there you go. Find find hubby. Hubby can probably look. Oh, it doesn't me. say. It doesn't I say. I don't know. Okay. Will you tell me the so brand? If you tell me the brand, then we can see? Google it. Can we can you give me the brand? It's called Crofton. Can... It's called Crofton. 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 Let's see Crofton. if Crofton can go in the oven. Let's Crofton. check it out. 
C Crofton 12 inch can. It's How do you spell it? C R A -O or C R O? C R O F. C R O F. Crofton hands. Crofton. Oven safe. Let's see. This is stainless steel. Crofton cookware. Oven safe. Being able to move pans from the stove to the oven seamlessly can make preparing food a lot easier. Thankfully, both the cookware and the lids. Hello, girl. Of Crofton cast iron. No, it's not. It's not yours. Our, mm, so yours is not, it's not, it's no, not this is stainless iron, steel. Is okay, stainless steel. Stainless it's stainless steel. steel. Stainless steel. I'm going to check it now. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um, can Crofton if cookware not, go in the oven? Only the cast iron. Mm -mm. That guy, okay, I don't think so he can. can. Was, okay, what about this Pyrex? Oh, they said so long as the handle is safe. Stainless steel skillets are also oven safe so long as the handle is oven safe as well. Yeah, my handle All is stainless steel. All stainless steel skillet with a metal handle is just as safe in the oven as a cast iron skillet. We just learned today. So why don't you put a little extra oil in there okay. just to make sure it's coated properly because you don't want it to stick to your pan. I'll do the same. All right, because I'm not greasing it. So just add about a tablespoon and it will coat your pan to make sure your rice don't stick to the um. We have vegetable oil. Look, I have vegetable oil Oops. and I have is vegetable oil good? Yes, ma'am. Just put a tablespoon of that in there. Because you have to grease that oh, pan, otherwise it's gonna stick and then you're I gonna be telling me about how my rice didn't I'll come out right and how it stick to the pan. <laughs> I'm just teasing. <laughs> yeah, All right. Now did you taste it? Did you taste oil. the water? You have to you have to taste no. the water. Taste the taste the water. Make sure it has a nice taste to you that you want it to taste right, you know? It tastes good, like but a I'm going to yeah. do like you. Add something. Two tablespoons of salt. So I'm going to add two, tea two, two teaspoons. teaspoons. Add two teaspoons, yeah. Because you can always, at the end, oh, Marilyn, two. when it's finished cooking, here's what I do when it's finished cooking. I think it needs a little salt. I take my bread, stick the meals. If I'm serving people, I just sprinkle a little bit on there and I toss it in. You could do that. My mother would always say, you can add salt, but you can't take it out. <laughs> so it's always best to go that route. So I don't have a cover for my skillet that really is tight. So I'm going to cover mine. Okay, that tastes good to me. So I'm well, covering mine even with... if it doesn't taste good, Kevin's going to have to eat it. <laughs> Poor Kevin. We're practicing this together. Kevin, I'm kind of liking you to tell it in the movie now. He got to <laughs> eat mine. He got to eat my experiments. He got to eat my experiments. Oh. I hope he likes it. Be free. That's good payback for what he did for me this morning. Guys, you're going to have to stay tuned because Mr. Kevin did a whole workbook session with me this morning. Okay. I mean, I have to Okay, so how long do we leave this in the... In the how long do we it leave this in It goes in the anymore? oven for two hours. That's the thing about cooking stove oven, but it's perfect rice. Two hours is perfect rice. Yeah. So, okay. What's okay. the temperature of the oven, the Marlene? Yeah, 350 degrees. 350. Huh? 350. Put it in the center at 350. Okay, 350. So let's see. Bake. So I'm covering mine and I'm going to turn on my oven right oh. now. Yeah, let so go. I'm going to preheat it this. and then it'll let me know when it's ready. Yes. So we're going to preheat this. It will beep when it's warm, when it's heated. Yeah, when it's, when it's ready, it'll be. It'll go beep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I hope I have enough parchment for my burgers. Hallelujah. Yes, I do. Oh, wait a minute. Like I, got my my huh? I came on late. Are you cooking? Yes. <laughs> oh, awesome. Nicole is cooking. You having your camera open with us? Hold on. I can't see you yet. Hold on. Oh, hold on. There goes Nicole's rice. Let's add, add spotlight. Yum. That looks good. Wait, okay, is that corn? Nicole there? <laughs> Nicole. Nicole, hey, Nicole how place. are you? I am blessed. I am blessed. You are that, blessed. That, you know how to cook. You I know. Me, you guys told me how to cook too. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Oh. Okay. Is that so, corn and rice you have there, Nicole? 
I use uh, the brown rice, but I didn't have any pigeon peas, so I used chickpeas. And I oh. have corn. I put a little bit oh. of basil in there. Yes. And, um, pimento seeds. Pimento? Okay, we don't do pimento. I don't I do, do pimento, but I know what you mean, yeah? Yeah, I put some fresh thyme. Yeah, fresh thyme is a green win. You can also add, Marilyn, some um, bay leaves. If you have a, like a bay leaf, it would be really flavorful. Yeah. I, I ran out. Marilyn, I, I put see it, girl. It looks corn. very good. I put corn and chickpeas, carrots, and sweet Okay, peppers. so I have some organic. They're not looking as green as they were earlier, but that's okay. They're yeah. basically turning dry. That's good. Put two of those so in there. Many, one or two? Two. Two. And yeah. also, Marilyn, now we need to check your cover. Is your cover oven safe? If the cover is not oven safe, then you have to cover it with wax and then foil. Or, so, or um, what do you call this? I'm using parchment and then foil. No, because I think this is this is made of glass. Oh no, it can't go in. Or so we're gonna have to cover. I don't know what this is made of. No, no, you can't put that in there. No, I can't go. So, so we'll use put... wax and, and foil, not wax, sorry. Do you want me Parchment. to saran wrap or something? Saran? No. You no, do... um aluminum. Nicole's showing us what she's huh? Use aluminum Wait. foil, yes, ma'am. Yeah. But I always buffer it with some um parchment paper first. I don't All have right. parchment paper. That's fine. Oh, it's better work. than bouillon. Okay. You, That's a vegan you. seasoning. Love it. That's nice. I like okay, that. Okay, so all I have is... See, I would use this. Season. See, I use this one, Nicole. But I don't have my own in vegan, unfortunately. It's not vegan. I use a chicken oh. style. It's just like that. Okay, so I have a dog. Mind you, I could have. I keep forgetting this one's vegan. This one was vegan. This one has nothing in there. This is a you have adobo that could have gone in there too, it would give a nice flavor for your rice. Okay. You can add a sprinkle, you can add a sprinkle, add a sprinkle, make it yours. Don't be scared, just a sprinkle is not gonna hurt it. All right, well, I'm probably my own in the other. So, huh? I want it to be Bohemian, not Dominican. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. There you go. She, oh, no, don't over sprinkle. <laughs> okay. So we got adobo. All right. So well, my own has just gone good, into the oven. I put some adobo in it. How many? What time is it? What time is it? Let's see the time. I don't know the time. 11.30. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to get that. Um... Oh, I could have put some Jamaican... Jerk seasoning. This is what he had to make in jerk seasoning from Blue Mountain Country. Yes, next time. Okay, beautiful. All right, so then we move on to our next in our next recipe. Okay, so hold on, we're gonna put another aluminum foil. Let me wash my bowl. I have a bowl here already. Good stuff. I'm so happy to have you guys stay with us who are on Zoom. For those who are just joining us, maybe probably somebody is joining late. We are in the kitchen with Marilyn from Maryland and Marlene from Nassau. Something better today in ministry. And we are teaching Marilyn how to cook Bahamian food and rice. And now we're going on to our next recipe, which is um two hours. Okay, I gotta put in a timer once it's ready. Little Gabonjo bean burger. Just washing my dishes in between because I don't believe in piling up on aisle one all day long. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't have, hey, they, Marilyn has a hobby to help her. I ain't got no hobby, so I gotta be washing as I go. That's the practical way of doing things, right? That's the practical person I am. All right, good. So we're using garbanzo beans. Now, you know, normally I'm not the one to use canned products, but because 
I didn't get to boil my beans. I'm using a tin of garbanzo beans, which is a cup and a half of garbanzos. When you're using garbanzos or black beans or whatever, like I have the black beans in the freezer because we just made black bean burgers the other day. And so I have some leftover from my last thing. It's equal parts garbanzos to equal parts oats, okay? I'm using gluten-free oats because now I am on a full gluten-free regime. So when I do come back live with our shows, which hopefully will be very soon, hold on, this thing wants to slide all over the fridge. It will be a full gluten-free journey for my audience because now I'm gluten-free. Okay, so it's ready. So yeah, good. So let's pop it into the oven. Did, any, did anybody notice that I put in a, 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 a tablespoon of oil? I did. Oh. I should have. You took. I know you took the oil out. I don't know that you put it in. Okay. Well, we're gonna put. If it I put an extra tablespoon, uncover it. It wouldn't hurt. It just tastes better. <laughs> Somebody from Galaxy said yes. You did. Galaxy phone said yes. You did. Okay. Good. But you could take it off. If you take it off, then you will notice it at the top. My own surface. My own did not sink. You know, oil is here. Um. Water is, which one's heavier? <laughs> the oil is gonna be at the top. It's not going to sink. You should see it right at the top. Oh, so it's on the top. Yeah, it's on the yes, top. Yes, it's surface, okay. yeah. Beautiful. Okay. So now I need so you now to get your, oven. put it in the oven because it takes two hours. Oven. So the burgers will take less time. That will take more time. So which one, the top one or the middle one? Um, put it in the middle. Put it in the middle. I have my own on the top. Okay. I, my oven's very small. It's just Gimpy. We call her. Her name is Gimpy. She's very okay, small. Okay, I'm gonna put mine on the top, so it's easy for me. And I have it at three fifty. I'm told. Close that. Boom. Now we gotta put a timer. Hobby. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. And put a timer. Two hours. Put an hour and 45 minutes, and at that time, you toss it. And then if it needs to go back. But usually, you know, about two hours is ready. So I, that would be our first time ever doing. Um, hmm, rice um, in the oven. Nice brown rice. Well, just in case we're at 1133, just in case we're at 11. So I told them to put a timer for an hour. Two. Two hours. In in two hours, it's ready. Okay, so now one of the two hours. Mm -hmm. Two hours. You should see his face. He's looking. He's ready to eat this now. You should see his face. He's ready to eat this right now. <laughs> But you got to wait. Wow. Well, we got to hope that it's you good. It'll wait. be finished just in time for lunch. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. So let's go on to our next recipe, Miss Marilyn. Let's go on okay. to the next recipe. Our next recipe is... Oh, I got to move some stuff out of my way. Put it Okay, for the cooking mm -hmm. handicap, this is a great <laughs> class because for the cooking handicap like me, you can see the fumbling and the mistakes right here live on TV. And then somebody <laughs> will say, yeah, I will make that mistake. I do that stuff. <laughs> and then how you can fix it. But I, what I like about you is that you didn't mind being on the camera on the you know, YouTube and you didn't mind making those bloopers in front of us. And you see how you pour all that water in there? You weren't sure how much water was in. No, it takes, it's a science, you know? Ellen White says cooking is a science. And of all of the people she loved, she loved her chef the most. She said, because it was the chef that's going to keep her healthy and the chef that's going to keep her in shape. So we need to be very cautious of how and where we eat from day to day. You know, so now you're meal prepping for the week. Hopefully you'll have enough rice for two or three days. All right, so let's grab our garbanzos. We're doing garbanzo beans. What I like most about beans is that it's what? High in fiber. One cup of this will give us about, I said it already, 15 to 16 grams of fiber. All right. So this grams. has 
Can you believe it? So Goya makes an organic mm. chickpeas with mm. sea salt. Oh, that's very good. I've never, I've never and seen that. One. I have, so we sell Goya. This one's bushes. Low this sodium. one is organic. Low sodium and now with sea salt. You know, you could also take this and make, I wish we had gotten them to do two because while we were, uh, we could have done two recipes. We could have made another one with the, um, we could have made the tuna for you to have for lunch tomorrow or whatever, but you'll do it next time. Because you just do the same garbanzos you and you just make a tuna. tuna today? We could do have done both do, recipes. What am I going to eat with we, the burgers? That's what I'm saying. We got, oh, I eat my burger with rice. I eat my burger with anything. You could have it with bread. You could have, we could, we could make a garbanzo bean loaf if you wanted to. I can look to see that recipe. So I'm op I open my tin. I'm going to pour the water. It would call for breadcrumbs, oats. Do you have breadcrumbs? Do you save the water? Breadcrumbs. I'd have to make some. No, you don't need the water. Do we save the water? You could use the water if you wanted to, to use it to make, um, it's called aquafaba. You could have done to make a topping, like a, a whipped topping. But I, 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 yeah, I just threw it out. <laughs> you could even use it to make mayonnaise or veggies or whatever nays. <laughs> All right, so there goes our beans, our gabonzo beans. All right, so in my blender. So you got your blender for us, Marilyn? You found it? Yeah. Good. Luckily, I own a blender. <laughs> All right. So here's the first thing we want to do. We get our skillet. I'll have to borrow another one because I took my skillet and put it in the oven. So there it goes. So we grab our skillet. A small one will do. And remember those onions and garlic that we had chopped? Parsley chopped? Oh, remember I didn't those? do that yet. Okay. So I'm going to put my own in my skillet. All right. It's onion. And I have about three, oops, I have about three or so cloves of garlic. You don't have to cut them up like that. It's just I don't have two skillets. You could use a pot. You can use a pot. Remember, you have a you have a frying pan on your stove. You forgot. We had we had it already in place. Where did you put it? Oh yeah, this big pan. Yeah. Okay, I have this big pan. Okay. All right. So let me quickly chop up. Coarsely chop up. Yeah, it doesn't have to be because we're gonna put it on the stove and it's gonna be blended. All right. So it goes in your skillet like that. You take a little tomato paste. A tablespoon. There we go. A heaping tablespoon of tomato paste. Oh, making sure you can see. Which camera am I on? Okay, this camera. There goes my tomato paste. So what's the difference between tomato paste and tomato sauce? So the tomato sauce is not going to be as concentrated. This is concentrated. You can use tomato sauce. You just have to probably use a, um, I wouldn't use necessarily a lot more. It's just, it's going to be loose. When you open it, it's like water. Not water, but it's loose like water. So that's my tomato paste. That's my onions. And that's my about, um, garlic. All right. Awesome. Okay. So we're going to put this in a pot. The onions. Mm -hmm. Roughly and chopped. Okay. Good. How much garlic? And I, I put three cloves. Okay, three cloves. I think garlic is important when you're doing things like this. All right. Good. And that goes on top of the stove top with, you could use water, but my recipe does call for a little oil, but if you're on an oil-free journey, which is good, which is not bad, um, we do need a little fat, which is not horrible. I'm going to add about a tablespoon and a half of um, my oil. I'm gonna let that cook down on top of my stove. We like it to caramelize. When it caramelizes, the flavors are more intense in your burger. So I'm gonna drop that on top of my stove. All right. And I will let you look at that when it's finished. These are some big pieces. They don't have to be small, we're blending. We're blending. You just wanted to cook down on top of your stove. I don't want to leave Marilyn behind. You got to make sure she's with us on this journey. Right, guys? If you have any questions, this is the time. Open up that platform and let us chat while we're waiting for Marilyn. I'm so glad that you guys stayed with us. We have Joan, Galaxy, 
I'll just carry So we just throw the, the whole clove Kathy. in there? We just throw the whole clove in there? Yeah, put the whole thing in there. Mm -hmm. Put the entire thing in there. We have five persons watching us on our YouTube. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I can't open it up so I can chat. That's weird. Okay. There we go. And so right. you said a tablespoon of... Oh, it's not a private video. I see the problem. Hold on. Let me make that. Can I edit that video and make it public? I see the problem. Wow, I have it as private. We need that to be public. All this while we've been on, people can't even view it. So I'm editing the video now. Give me a second, guys. Give me a second as it opens up to my studio. So I had it as private all this time. So it's public. It's public. It's public. It's public. Select where we want it to play. It's in cooking. Done. And so you guys can see. Is it made for drinking? No. Yeah. There was one second. Okay. So oh, it's good to have an apron. It's old fashioned, but it's good to have an apron in case I, I, you don't I, make I, a I, mess. If you make a mess, you could have your apron that protects you, right? Exactly. We need to have you in a something better apron next time. How about that? Mm, how about it? <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. Yes, yes. Let's get some aprons done and get those smiles. I'm so, making sure the class okay, is Okay, so you public. want me to turn on the heat now? If you can hear us, let us know. Let us know. So I want the conversation part of our chat to be open, but it's not open. I don't know why. Let's see what happens here. One second. So we have one tablespoon of we have one tablespoon of tomato paste, and we're gonna put one tablespoon of oil, grapeseed oil. Let me take you guys over to my stove, my pot. There you go. And if you can see that, put this on high. And there we go. Because you can see it. Okay, beautiful. I'm just trying to get our conversation part of this. Um, Oh, it's in a second. Okay, there we go. I think I got it now. Now they can chat. They couldn't chat before. I didn't understand. I didn't. Um... Okay, so there we go. So then I'm going to stir in my tomato paste a little. Get those flavors to intensify even more. All right. Yes, yes, yes. This is my favorite burger. I've made it a million times on YouTube and Facebook and whoever else. I just love it. It's really my favorite. Hi, Lisa D. Hi. So we have chatting going on. I couldn't see it. Hi, Lisa. <clears throat> it's the King Burger. It's called King Burger, the Bonzo Bean Burger, Chickpea Burger, whatever you want to call it. So we have people chatting. I couldn't see it before. Thank you for joining us. Will you do us a favor and share the live with your friends and family? We would love to have them join us on this live this morning. It's my first time being live. May I tell you why? So I've been going through some health challenges. I'm postmenopausal, and um, mm -hmm. and so I ended up with a whole lot of allergies, right? A lot of allergies. So I've taken so many things out of my diet, and now I am fully uh, gluten free. Um, and so I had to, I had to learn how to cook all over again. That's the truth. So I'm learning how to cook gluten-free, um, recipes that's really unfamiliar to me. So I am going to do a live presentation very soon on menopause. I want to share my journey with you. Everything about me changed, Miss Joan. My body odor was higher. My, I was having pains throughout my body. I couldn't explain it. I started getting blisters in my mouth. I started getting... I, was, I became allergic to everything. Soy, all the things I love so much. <laughs> Bananas. So I had to take these things out of my diet. And today God has given me a healthier, more plant-based diet than before. I feel better. I feel better. I feel better. That's the most important thing. I feel 100% better than I was. So if my kitchen were to ever reopen under whoever, so the name would be me, it would be gluten-free. All right. 
So let's go back to our, um, I'm gonna bring our pot over now. I'm gonna bring the pot over, I'm gonna take this over. How's it going, Marilyn? Okay, Marilyn so from Maryland, how's it going? Let's go back, let me take this over here. I love our rings, I love our rings. Don't y'all like the ring? Marilyn from Maryland. Okay, so here we go, this is burning already. Oh, that looks good. Is. So will you, will you slow that down a little? I love that she's cooking with me. Don't you, if you love that she's cooking though. with us, if you want to cook with me, let me know. We will do a live together from start to, oh, there goes my camera. <laughs> There goes my camera. It went crazy. Yeah, my camera's having some issues. I need a new okay, camera. Okay, so this looks like it's cooking down. It looks kind of moist looking. Okay, okay can you so turn, there it, we go. Turn, turn it off for me, Marilyn? Turn it off. You don't want it to burn. Yeah, don't, don't let it burn. Let make sure you can see me, guys. Yes, you can. Yeah, I'm going to stop moving my camera all over the place. Beautiful. So I'm turning mine off. Okay, so I turn next, mine what off. I want to learn that looks great. Okay, take that and put that into your blender. Take that and put it into your blender like okay. I am. See, I'm putting mine in my blender. That looks good, Marilyn. I love it. So if you'd like to cook with me okay, so on a live session like we do today, let us know, okay? Choose a recipe, then we'll just go for it. So I'm putting that into my blender. Marlene, is it the 16 ounce can you have? Garbanzo. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, it's 16 ounces. Yes, ma'am. So I put a little water in there, Marlene. I just I like a tablespoon of water to loosen up all that gravy from that chicken to the bottom of my skillet. And I'm pouring that into my pan. You see what I did, Mar Marlene? I added just a drop of water. I want to make sure she follows. Just so I can get the rest of my ingredients but i'm like china girl i don't want to leave anything in the pan okay good you got it marilyn marilyn hello oh you you muted that's what happened we couldn't hear her let me grab a glass of okay water. now you hear me okay so you only put a tablespoon of water of water to the bottom of your skillet you can just like run it just a little just to loosen up the bottom and then pour that into your blender Okay. Because nothing goes to waste. Oops, I might have put too much water, but that's okay. Okay, beautiful. Now, in your blender, in your blender, I needed some water. In your blender, I'm putting my, look at my gabanzos. I poured my water out. There's no water, Marilyn. No water. I'm yeah, putting I my know. dry gabonzo beans yeah. cooked, cooked dry into my, and I, I'm this kind of girl now. I'm very, you know, working for yourself is it, it trains you to be more conscious of every dollar that you spend. So I have my little grocery bags that I came from the food store and I make up my garbage bags. So I take that to the garbage bin so I don't have these in my bin and leaves you with less. So let's teach each other as we learn, right? I was that rich person who changed the garbage bin every day. Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. Okay, great. So I'm doing rolled oats. I don't know if I have quite a cup and a half or whatever I have, I'm going to make it work. Right? Let's make it work because I have no more and I'm not going to worry about it. Not going to worry about it. Not going to worry about it. So in my, in my, in my bowl, not in my blender. Okay, I want to make sure Marilyn's with me. Gonna, I'm slowing down. Let's just chat a bit. So Lisa, how are things going? How's your family? How else is watching? Where are you watching from? Let us know where you're watching from this morning. If you are watching us here, I am from Nassau, Bahamas. And if you're watching us for the first time, will you let us know? We are so happy to have you. We welcome you to my beautiful country, my beautiful island. And Maryland welcomes you to Maryland um, in the DC area. So let us know where you're watching from. So we just did Bahamian peas and rice. It's in the oven and we're baking it. It takes two hours to bake. It's a cup and a half of liquid to one cup of rice, so long as it's whole grain rice, and let it bake. It takes two hours to bake. You don't have to worry about it. Look at how we don't have to worry about it. We have to check the stove. Perfect rice when it comes out, okay? All right, Marilyn, I want to know where you at. Tell okay. us, bring us up to speed on where you at, what you just did. 
Okay, so we cooked, we caramelized the onions with the garlic and the tomato paste. And then we put that in the blender. And so now we have the oats. Okay. Now what do you want me to do with these oats? This is Hold quick on. oats. So what in your blender is the gabanzos and the onions that we have caramelized. Beautiful. In yeah. your bowl, in a mixing bowl or pot, doesn't matter. In a mix, you can use the same pot you added your stuff in. Use your same pot. Okay. And you take one and a half cups of, of, of um of your rolled oats, one and a half cups, okay, and put that in your bowl. Huh, I have a little bit of oats left. Okay, so since we wet the, the one cup, we're gonna use half and we're gonna use half three times. Exactly, exactly. One, two, three. Three. Awesome. So I like to use the larger, the larger measurement first because then sometimes, you know, you use the larger one, it's wet, it's in the sink. You haven't cleaned it yet, so then you can use the smaller measurement. Exactly. Okay. How much oats was that? Three cups huh. of oats. Three cups. Okay. No, one and a half cups. <laughs> oh, okay. okay, yeah, one and a half cups. Oh, Don't yeah, listen to the used, student, listen to the teacher. She, <laughs> she used three half cups. That's why I think oh, the question. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, beautiful. So in the blender, we have our beans, we have our onions, we have our tomato paste that's been caramelized with the onions. Now, initially, when I first started teaching, is there a difference between instant? I think the question, I can't see the full question. Is it instant oats and rolled oats? I think that's what they're asking. Well, you can, you can tell the difference. Look at it. Let me show you. And I could say this too. This is, this is, this is, I think the question is quick. Let me open it up. Um, yeah, mine is quick one minute oat meal. This is Marlene. Hey, sweetie. Um, you, have, you have the recipe. I I just joined you. I had a phone call. I had to leave. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, go go to go to something better today. Let me put it in the chat. Hold on. Let me go there quickly. Let's go there quickly. Okay, I'm going to share the link very quick with um on the screen. You can go to something better today. Let me just share it quickly. In the end results, no. <laughs> the only difference between cooked oats and rolled oats and quick oats is the pieces, the size. I was going to show you. This is um, rolled. So the rolled oats, the pieces are whole. It's whole. I don't know if you can see that. So the, the quick oats would be a little smaller. But here is the difference. The rolled oats looks, takes longer because it's in the whole size. Let me take you quickly. That's okay. Let me oh, yes. That's exactly what I'm using. Well, I'm using the organic, the gluten-free one. Yes. Perfect. Gluten-free. Yes, that's the same one. Look. See my own here? That's what I'm using here also. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm using. So we uh, are advertising for Bob Red Mills. <laughs> <laughs> okay, beautiful. Hold on. All right. So let me just share screen right quick so they can see um, the website and how to go on maneuvering. So this is something better today. So if you are new to something better, you can yeah. go to our page. It's somethingbettertoday.com. And then you go here, you put in garbanzos. When you put in garbanzo, what do you think happens? All the recipes that I have on my site with garbanzos will show up. All. Anything that has garbanzos in there. This here chickpea loaf is very, very good. Hold on for me. So this is something better today. So if you are new to something better, Hold on. you can go to our page. It's something uh, better. Today. Somebody's somebody's watching and you put in garbanzos. When you put in I'm garbanzos, hearing, I'm hearing my echo. Is it my own? It may be me. 
It may be me. Anything that has the bonzo. It may be me. Loaf is very, very good. Okay, so let's go to the recipe itself. The one that we're doing today is the best gabonzo or quick, quick you something better? chickpea bean burger. That's what we have it as, chickpea bean yeah. burger. Somebody, somebody's okay. watching and you put I can hear a little on. echo, but it could be me. I'm hearing my echo. Is it my own? It may be me. Yeah, it's probably me. Anything right. Okay, good. It was me. <laughs> okay, good. So here we are. I want you to see this here recipe. Let's go back because I'm still sharing screen. All right, beautiful. So that's the recipe. Press jump to, and it takes you straight to the ingredients. So let's do that together. So in our in our bin, is Marilyn still there? Okay, in our bin, where's Marilyn? I'm coming to you, Marilyn. I just want to show them the recipe right quick. Okay, good. She's still there. Oops, oops, oops. So I have here. I want you to go to the liquids now, the liquid part of the recipe. Get your measuring cup. You need a half a cup of nuts, your choice. I don't have much of, I have almonds. I'm going to use almonds. You could use pecans, walnuts. Walnuts are my favorite. Unfortunately, I am almost out of walnuts. And I only have almonds, which are a little drier. The almonds are a bit drier. It's not my favorite nut for this recipe, but I am going to use it because that's what I have. You use what you have. I, I believe that you should use what you have. It's going where? In your blender, okay? In your blender. Okay, the nuts go in the, where Nicole? So I, the have blender. Roasted, I have roasted cashews. What do you have? Tell me what nuts you have. Roasted cashews unsalted. That's what you have, then we use it. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So how much you say, half a cup? Half a cup goes in the blender with the beans. Half a cup goes in the blender with the beans. Then the coconut milk. Remember, we opened up our Bahamian Jamaican coconut milk. I just love how two countries can come together and be one. I love that. We are one. And then I'm going to pour while I'm waiting for you guys. All right. So put your nuts in the blender with your beans. Nuts go okay, in so blender. Much... Half a cup. Okay, what's the coconut milk? Half a cup. Half a cup of coconut milk, and that goes where? In your blender. Yeah. <laughs> okay, don't know me. I like to make noises with my mouth. It's my lean. It's funny. All right, that goes in the blender. My nuts okay, are in the all blender. Of it because we don't have a little bit left. What's that? Can it all go in? We have a little bit left of the coconut. Yeah, milk. yeah, you can. Yes, yes. How come you only have a little bit left? Oh, I know so why. Because I, I use I use some of my own in the other from the tin. So we have six go ahead, sweetie. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Not a problem. Not a problem. We could make we could have made some gravy out of that though. Hmm. Things so. that make it go through. We could have made some good gravy from that little bit of coconut milk for y'all. Beans burgers, girl. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's okay. okay hopefully, hopefully you have some more. Do you okay, call beautiful. her? Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so we have our beans in here. We have our nuts in here. We have our coconut milk in here. I am going to add, you can choose to add the half cup of olive oil. It's oil if you want. You can choose to cut it down to a quarter cup of oil. I have done this recipe for about 20 some years and I've taken this recipe with me throughout the world. I've taken it to 3ABN. The only complaint that I ever got was if I don't add the oil, the bean burgers are drier. So for me, I add a little oil, okay? And you can measure half a cup. I don't normally add about half a cup. To me, I add about a quarter cup. But because you're a first timer and we want hubby to enjoy them, you put in half a cup. <laughs> okay, make it a little richer. Whenever you're introducing recipes to people for the first time and they're not of your uh, persuasion, when it comes to your taste buds, you make it a little richer. Amen. That's a whole sermon. Then, as they come around, you simplify. But I didn't add as much as half a cup. I added about a quarter. So you want in my own. me to put a half a cup of oil? You can. You want them to like these burgers? Then you can cut it back next time or two. And okay, I make so mine we're gonna spicy. Put a quarter, we're going to put a quarter cup. 
You can put a quarter. A quarter is fine because you have nuts. The cashews are very rich in 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 oils and natural oils. My beans, my my one is almond. Almond's very dry. All right. Okay, can you rinse that for me, please? Okay. A quarter cup. Then quarter in your. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, so there we got that. Then what do we do with these oats eventually? We're not heating it up? Not yet. Leave the oats, leave the oats. Let them oats be. <laughs> let them oats be. You leave the let Bahamas, Bahamas say, left them alone. <laughs> That's what we would say in the Bahamas. Left them alone. They're going to be fine. We're coming to them oats. <laughs> All right? Left them, girl. Left them. All right? So then we, okay, so great. So I want you to know that all of your main ingredients are already in your pot. If you want to, if you want to, and I know you have, and so we can do it, you can take the Bragg's liquid aminos and put two tablespoons of it in your recipe for those who have it. I don't use it for myself because I'm allergic to the soy. Only since post-menopause. Menopause can really mess up a life, huh? And I love me some Bragg's liquid aminos. But you How can many? take two tablespoons, two. For those who have no brides, but you have, ta-da, hold on, don't go anywhere. I have another something in my fridge. I always have something up my sleeve, you know, let me see if I can find it, hallelujah. My little fridge and me be fighting all day for space, all day. If you have in your fridge, you may have some soy sauce. That will work too, two tablespoons, no more. Two tablespoons, okay? So that's two tablespoons of brides or two tablespoons of soy sauce. It's the same thing. One is unfermented. That's the difference. Okay. Then, for those who have McKay's chicken salad seasoning, you can add um, none. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's no 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 McKay's no McKay's. You add so um. Just go with the recipe. Bell peppers, if you have. I don't use bell peppers very often because of arthritis. It keeps it the joints a little stiff. So we have our tomato paste, our oil our soy sauce and salt and pepper to taste. Then I'm going to add a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Italian seasoning is just a blend of marjoram, thyme, um, oregano, um, rosemary, If sage, you can have basil. a teaspoon that are square, these teaspoons that are square, they fit in these tiny yeah, yeah, little yeah. I love that. Yes, I love that. I think I've seen them. I have never actually bought them. Then I'm going to add another dash. I'm not, I'm just teasing. Then you can put an eighth of a teaspoon of, of cayenne in your burgers. You could do the eighth here. I like my burgers to be a little spicy. This burger has been fed to my niece and nephew, my brother and his children. Listen to me, I'm not kidding you. Every Sabbath from they've been coming here because I it's my favorite burger, right? And um, I barbecue it for them. And they're like, that tastes good. I'm like, thank you. All right. So in place of your soy sauce, I'm putting salt. And if you want to, you can add a pinch of salt, but I wouldn't add it just yet. Okay, I wouldn't add it just yet. You can add, you're adding salt to taste. It's always to taste. So then I'm going to put my top on and I'm getting ready to blend. I'm going to bring my blender over. Okay. Let me grab my blender. Okay, so we're gonna put this on here. Okay, and then we're gonna put the words here. We're gonna put the whipping on here. While Marilyn's okay, doing so that. Pulse it. So we pulse blend. it. Blend. You blend. So you blend. Blend. Okay, so I'm gonna blend. <laughs> For how long? Hold on. For how long? You're blending. Oh, for, I don't have do the you, vitamins. I was about to say, do you have a strong blender or is it like a weak blender? You want to blend until it's nice and pureed. You want it to be an actual puree. So I would blend for you about a full minute to make sure um, that it's going to be. Okay. Do you have? Yeah. And then what you do is you can you can stop midway and use a. 
Right. Ab because, because you always have one of the thumpers too. You have one of those. Okay, so no, then midway, you want to just take your rubber scraper and push it down. Midway. Okay. You know, just do that. Yeah. All right. How's it going, Miss Aldith, who's making it with us? How's it going, Nicole, who's making it with us? I just realized I didn't have enough oats. Oh, what do you have? If you can replace it. How many, how many cups of oats do you have? How much do you have? I have a cup, but I'd prefer use the, the one minute. The one that I have, I, I want it for something special. Oh, you have enough. You, have, you, can, you can combine the two together. Oh, oh all I have know. left in that package is the, the about a cup. Okay, then let's do it with a cup. Let's go, girl. What you waiting on? This smells so good. <laughs> Just take out a half a cup of the of the bonzos and add it to your salad later on. It's yeah. equal parts. Equal, equal. Come on, be cooking. Let's do this, sister. Let's yeah. do it, Miss Aldous. Come on. All right, so let's blend. <laughs> Yeah, whole engine up in my house. All right, <laughs> the vitamin is very strong. All right, beautiful. Let me just do something here. My stove is trying to burn a hole in my in there. One second again. All right. Okay. Good. So now we're gonna do it, Miss Alden. Don't don't quit. Don't quit. Don't quit. Please don't quit. Not yet. So on my counter, we have our. All right. How's it looking, Marilyn? Hold on. Marilyn, you tasting? <laughs> Is Marilyn tasting? So then you're gonna pour that into your oats. Voila. Okay, that pure goes rain. into your oats. Sorry. That goes this into your oats. Just, oh, hold on. My 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 computer battery is saying I know. Mm. My phone. I need to plug in something here, guys. Just give me a moment. Let's see if I can get my um my phone plugged in before it says low battery. We don't want that happening, do we? Okay, I'm coming, I'm not coming, I'm not coming. Come on, everybody must be cooking together. Let's do this together. Okay. Doing it with you, I'm making the garbanzo because I made that from Friday. I cooked it from Friday, but I ran out of time. <laughs> okay. Now we have another person joining us. Awesome. So I'm going to we're going to have more, we're going to have enough garbanzo beans we can share with the whole nation. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love it. Okay, so now I'm pouring it because I have to plug in my stuff. I'm pouring it in. All right. And we could do this every Sunday, so long as I'm not having a speaking engagement or something, you know, I don't have a problem with this. This is beautiful. Go live on YouTube. This will be my like one live per week. This is all I need. All the doctor ordered. We can make some nice stuff together, right? And everybody cooking together. This is beautiful. And the more of us have our cameras open, even the better. Even if you do it at the very end, right? Let's pour that in. So you're pouring that into your gabon, into your oatmeal. Oats, 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 oatmeal. No such thing as oatmeal. All right. I think I got most of it. And then you stir. You stir it in. Stir it in. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now I, I I I prefer the quick oats when it makes make this. I could have actually blended my oats out so it could be a, a little, you know, I could have blended it just a little or break it down just a little in the food processor. 
Ciao. Ciao. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to wash my blender right quick while I let it sit for just a minute. All right. All right. Collect water in the very least. And I'm using my homemade joy. <laughs> I'm using my own homemade soap that I made myself. I decided I'm not going to buy any more. I'm going to use what I made instead of buying the junk from the store, well, the stuff from the store. Let me call, let me go, call the people stuff junk. <laughs> let me not do that. I'm wow, going to use quinoa. Use don't have enough oats, so I'm going to use quinoa. <laughs> All together? Yeah. No, quinoa in the garbage because well, I don't have right, oats. Saying, you don't have oats. Okay, all right. I have like maybe, it looks like about a cup. <laughs> right, so then why don't you do the two? Mix it together. Yeah, mix it together. Your, do you find that the quinoa keeps it together? Oh, yes. yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. I need to get some. I'm going to, I am going to chop some quinoa this week. This week, I'm going to do some quinoa. I love quinoa. Yeah. So if you're just joining us, we are doing a cooking, a literal cooking together. Marilyn in Maryland, Joan in New York, Aldith in Florida, Nicole in New York, different parts of New York. Um, I don't know if anybody else is cooking with us, but this is so beautiful that we're cooking together and we're all over the world right now sharing this live, whoever will choose to watch it at a later date. All right, I think it's beautiful. Okay, you ready, Marilyn? Yeah, I like to watch as I go. You know, I don't have anybody to come and clean up on our one minute. I'm all done. So, I'm the kind of well, I was a home ec teacher. I think you guys know that I've been so many things, but I am a teacher by profession. My degree is in teaching, and I believe that we should clean as we go. That's been my rule for my talks. It's my rule in my kitchen. My boys know when they come to visit that they'll come and they'll stay. They'll tell their friends, whoever come with them, her rule is you clean as you go. You clean as you go, you don't have no problem with my mama. <laughs> okay? So that's my rule. Because when I wake up in the morning, I have a class and I don't, and my space is small, so I can't be like looking for cleaning up no dishes and all that. And that doesn't work for me. Okay, good. So then I grab my baking sheet and I hope Marilyn has one of those. No. Nope. Okay, that's okay. That's all right. You use what you have, baby girl. Don't fret, don't fret, don't fret. We don't fret in this life. Okay, beautiful. You do have a baking pan? Another yes. one, like like a lasagna kind of a pan? Yeah, I do have that. Okay, see, we find something. We make it work. I don't believe in excuses, Marilyn. I make it happen. Whatever it takes, make it happen. That's the rule. Oh, Kathy's okay. back. I thought Kathy was gone. This one, I guess, is stainless steel. That's Everything. beautiful. Right. So then you want to spray it. Put some spray on there. So I'm using um, if you parchment don't have paper. Spray. Then you put a little drop of oil and you just rub it with your, fing your fingers all over. You got to make sure it's just the bottom, not the size, because we're not making cake. Just use your finger with some oil. Oh, we do want to taste the batter. I forgot oh. that part. <laughs> you got to taste your batter. Say it again. We're going to use this thing and brush the That's fine. That's fine. Now, you do want to taste your batter. Hold on. Mine tastes okay. really good to me. I can... mm -hmm. I'm eating in between meals. Hold on. <laughs> tastes so good. <laughs> Woo! Let me wash my fingers. That tastes good. Yum, yum, yum. Yummy for my tummy. <laughs> now, I added salt to my own, eh? I added salt. How much did you salt did you add? Um, I think it was, remember I'm using the coarse salt. It was about a tablespoon of the core. I used my fingers about a tablespoon. I didn't do two. Right, Galaxy? Or somebody was watching me? Yeah, I, I think it was about a tablespoon. I didn't do this. Remember, I didn't do the soy sauce because I'm allergic. This is going to be a lot of. You're going to get 12 burgers. Thank you. Thank you, Galaxy. Who is Galaxy? You want to tell us the name behind that? But that's okay. You keep your name. That's fine. Yeah. You're going to get 12 burgers. Well, listen, I'm using the smaller ring for the balls jar. You can see it? Good. So I'm going to use <laughs> the big one. I'm going to use the big one to make six. I don't have the big one. I, I, I don't have the big one. I wish I did, though. 
So what do you mean? No, she don't need no added salt. <laughs> Thank you. You don't need no added salt. But she can still taste it, though. Taste it to see the flavors. That's nice. I need one large one. I'm going to buy one. I need to buy a large one. Because then you get like six large burgers. Perfect for burgers. Perfect. Hubby can have a burger for lunch. You can have a burger for lunch. You can put some barbecue sauce on this and have it with your rice today for dinner. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a flat. Okay. I got to go drink some chocolate and go eat in between meals. That's why I don't like to cook in the middle of the day because then I end up tasting in between. I think you taste all that bottle. <laughs> Is, it good, Max? Is it good? I'm going to put a half a teaspoon, a half of something of salt. Okay, that's fine. That's why it's taste to taste. Yeah, is it teaspoon or tablespoon? Because I don't want to make a mistake. No, you want the smaller. Start always start small. My mother said, this is a mother says show. My mother says, you're gonna do a whole show. My mother said, Kefi, you can put the salt in, but you can't take it out. <laughs> so half a teaspoon. Ha start with half a teaspoon, sprinkle it in, and then taste again. Yeah. What about the pepper? Is it good enough for pepper for you? I and you can add, yeah, if enough. you want to, you can even, okay, good. I don't. I like my own to be, I like the spice. You don't taste it, then you want to add a little more? Spice okay. up your life a little bit. Don't, don't mind me. Don't mind me, girl. I like my burgers to be spicy, like the, the, the um, this is my pretend Boca spicy chicken burger. <laughs> All right, that's my pretend spicy chicken burger from Boca. Okay, right? so that's what I do. Okay, let's go back to YouTube. I'm sorry, we have a YouTube audience watching. Let's see what's going on on YouTube. Let's say hi again. Awesome. Okay, happy island life. Miss Esther's daughter, Valencia, watching from Abaco. Woohoo! Abaco in the. Oh, really? How you doing? I haven't seen you in a long time. A <laughs> long time. So, here, what you're going to do, happy island life? You want to take me over there with you? Because I love me some Abaco. I love all the island life. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Also, thank you for joining. I love that. Happy Island Life. I love your name. I love your name. Okay. So you ready, oh, Mara? You tasted it again. Salt. It tastes better? That's good enough in salt. Okay, beautiful. Very good. All right. Okay, good. Then I take it and I put the ring on the pan. Okay. And grab a spoon. And grab a spoon. Okay. And I spoon it in. These will, they hold their shape nicely, right? It holds its shape nicely. So then I put it in my ring. Happy Island Life. You live in Abaco. You are blessed. And then I just go like so, like so. Oh, this one's a little too far. And I keep going until you can't see. Can y'all see? Let me bring it down just a little bit. This is so beginner friendly. This is so easy. Even a child could do this. Amen. See? With supervision. With supervision, of course. <laughs> I make my granddaughter help me when she comes over. I tell her she has to help. She says, okay, Nana. <laughs> hey, so happy. Okay, Nana. <laughs> And just spoon it in. And I like spooning it in because um, I like the ring because then it gives you neat shape, perfectly shaped burgers. When we flip them, then you can press it down just a little. Okay? You're going to flip them. So they're going to stay on one side for about 25 to 30 minutes until it can flip without breaking up. Okay? Uh, just keep going. So I get about 12 burgers from my recipe. Maybe a bit more, maybe one more. I don't know. I haven't. I think it's usually about perfect twelve. All right. And I know one thing. I'm not about to start another tree. That's what I don't do. Bless you. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. One thing I know I'm not doing is starting another tree just for one burger. All right. Uh-huh. There we go. There we go. There we go.
All right, I'm going to end up with a little more. So what I'll do is I'll just go back and put a little on each burger. Uh-huh, there we go. So how's it going, Marilyn? This is so e easy. <laughs> All right, you go, girl, you go. This is a lot <laughs> easier than I thought. Amen. See, once you get it, you get it. And then you can do this with the black bean burgers, right? You can do the same thing with the black beans. The black bean is the exact recipe. It's just black beans. Now they are drier. It's a little drier than um than the oh, the garbanzos. Yeah, the recipe. If you make black them too, bean itself. What if you, you make, make them it too. Thick? No, when you when you allow it to bake on one side, when you take it, when you flip it over with your spatula, just mash it down a little. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. And then it will thin it out. It will thin it out. If you're joining us for the first time on YouTube, let us know you're watching. Let us know where you're watching from. And then tell us some of the foods that you want us to prepare. It has to be all gluten-free because this Marley is now gluten-free. And um, it's new world for, of gluten-free for her, for me. I'm talking about myself in the third. All right. So there we go. This is my burger. So I'm going to pop them into the oven and you're going to let them bake. In my oven is also my rice that's cooking. It's been there. How long, Miss Marilyn's husband? Okay, there goes the cover. I think maybe for like an hour. Okay, I think so too. It was 11.30 and now it's 12.23. Look at that. Yes, about an hour. Praise the Lord. Right. Okay. All right. It's cleanup time. Okay. Away. All right. So this is what is low battery clothes. All right. So this is oh. what is like. We're going to, this is kind of big. These make, these make really big ones in the wide one. Hold on. So here we go. Let me see. Don't mind my ugly looking pan, but it's clean. It's nice. I love the burgers. They're beautiful. They're big. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. When you flip them, then you're going to take them at an angle because when you mash it, it's going to stick. Not stick like that, but you know what I'm saying? So when you flip it, you'll see what I mean. There'll be three and three, but the three won't be right next to each other. They're going to be at an angle almost. All right, you, you'll get it. Okay. So now it's time for, yeah. So pop them into the same oven. Pop them into the same oven, and then yeah, Galaxy is saying you could have. have Galaxy is saying that you could have actually just, you know, oh, uh, did I lose you guys? I lost somebody. Marilyn, we lost Marilyn. A battery died. Hi, yeah, yeah. No, Marilyn, it was not dead. Oh. Okay, all right. Yeah, what what Galaxy is saying, which is a great idea. If you didn't actually have enough space, you can actually just simply do what? You could simply um. You can simply freeze it out. Oh, she's saying we didn't have enough for the oats. Yeah, just freeze it for later. That's a very good idea. Thank you. Very, very good. Very, very good. Because I freeze right. everything. My, my freezer would be so packed up. Ooh, it'd be horrible. I could hardly get in there because I'd be freezing everything. I believe in freezing. I think freezing is just great. So you know, just great. How many minutes? 20 minutes, right? About 20 minutes, 25 minutes about 25 minutes initially for one side. When you go to turn it, it must be able to lift and flip. You don't want it flip when you go to, to, to take it up, it's kind of breaking apart. That means that it's not, that means it's not fully ready yet. So you give it another few moments. So normally I say about 25 to 30 minutes on one side. And then the next side is just about 10 minutes. It's not long, about 10 minutes. Okay. All right. The oats is your binder. It, it keeps things together. It's your binder. All right. So we can help Marilyn clean up now. <laughs> we can help her put away all those things. Huh? Oh my goodness. So I have a lot of dishes to do when I'm done with this, but that's okay. I might have to make the, um, if I'm the chef, I'm gonna have to make the hubby wash the dishes, right? Yes, that's a good thing. <laughs> okay, Galaxy says, yours are bigger, hers are bigger, so she will need more time. Yes, thank you, I forgot. It may, it may, 30 minutes is probably best for hers initially. 
30 minutes at least. Okay. Yeah. You can but start with the 25 because yours are bigger. Uh, do you have it on the bottom shelf or do you have it on the middle shelf? On the middle shelf. Okay, but you don't have fine. a bottom shelf. That's yeah, good because bottom burns are... things. I'm glad. Bottom burns things. With people who don't know how to cook, I like to say, don't put it on the bottom. Put it on the middle and the top shelf. For persons who are not so comfortable in the kitchen. All right? Yeah, well, this one is a coil thing, so... Mm, it, uh... Battery. Okay. So hold I'm just on wanting to get my battery. Just wanting to get my um my cord. Give me a second, guys. Okay, give me a second. I'm coming now. Just need to get my plug. Oh, wrong side. All right. Okay, beautiful. All right. You'll come back tomorrow. And, okay, she's back. Okay, so I was telling the hubby. Yeah, he has to do another 30 minute timer. And he said, well, you've been, the, the rice and peas have been going in there for one now, hour. One hour. Now, because is it brown rice, does it have to cook for three hours? No, two, two hours. So it if it was just two. regular long gray rice, what, how long would it have been? An hour, 45 minutes less, far less. Oh, far less. okay, okay. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, probably okay. even 30 minutes. Yeah, it takes no time. Brown rice takes longer. It takes brown longer rice more and it needs a little more and it needs a little more liquid. It needs a little like regular long grain rice takes two cups, two cups of water. The the parboil takes a cup and a half. Okay. So next or next Sunday or whenever we're available, I want to learn how to make the I want to learn how to make, um, use the slow cooker. Oh so yeah. The thing about the slow cooker is when you put, when we probably need to do an Instapot, but I don't have one. If you do the slow cooker, I take, well, I like to tell people to do it at night, but you but still fine. You just put it in there. What do you want to learn to do in there? We could do maybe um a curry gabonzo. We could do, um actually, I have I'm a very great recipe. Back. We're gonna. Do, I'll be right back. We have a five minute break. Okay. So those right. who want to go to the bathroom. Okay. Okay. Let's remove spotlight for a second. Anyway, guys, I'm so happy that you chose to stay with us. Those who are on our Zoom platform, thank you so much for being a part of our audience. We appreciate you being with us this morning. Well, today now we've been. Oh, I've been going since. Hmm. I had a class at six thirty. And I've been going with um, from one class to the next, and I'm just happy that we can do this together, learning together. And I just thank you for your participation in um, this segment and, of course, our prayer segment. For those who don't know, Something Better also has a prayer session each morning. Every morning, Eastern Standard Time, at 8 a.m., we come together for prayer for one hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes, sometimes two depending on um, how our prayer goes. We don't like to restrict persons. Um, we are praying for families. We're praying for marriages. We're praying that marriages will work and that the husband and wife can come together and make it work. And we're praying for grief, for whatever loss we may be going through. We're praying for our children, that they will firstly find Christ and that salvation would be theirs also. We're also praying for um, persons with job loss, um, all, all various, various things we're praying for. Whatever your need is, we come to the altar together. And we believe, that, like the word of God says, there are two or three gathered in his name. There he is in the midst. And so we've been doing this for a few um, weeks now. Didn't realize that we would end up in with a prayer line. But I'd say this, I share very openly, as you know, my journey has not been anything private. When my husband first left eight years ago, I started a prayer room with a sister friend of mine. Her name is, um, uh, I can't remember her name, but 
we would come together every Friday evening for worship and prayer. We were reading the book Prayer Warrior. And um, it's amazing that eight years later, or almost nine years later, I guess, that I'm still trying to, I, I never dreamt that prayer became such a part of my life. Um, but I'm just grateful because I tell you, it's probably what kept me over the years. And so if you're in need of prayer and you want to join our prayer room, I will share the link in the chat, or you can reach out to me by way of WhatsApp. You can WhatsApp me for my for the link. I'll put that number up on the screen. Um, how can I do that? Uh, how can I do that? And I am not as savvy as I think I am when it comes to, but I can do it the best I can. 242-535-6, sorry, 6293. So if you want to, uh, yes, it shows up. It shows up on the BBN. So it's 242-535-6293. And I'm here in the Bahamas if you'd like to be, become a part of our prayer room. If you want to join our weight loss program, which is where our program actually started, it's a virtual wellness program. It's not just for weight loss. It's for persons who are suffering from high blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease, um, acid reflux, anything of that nature, high cholesterol, and of course, weight being one of my areas that I like to talk about weight because I have always battled with it all my life, pun intended, seriously. And so if you want to learn more about how you can regain your strength and regain your health and hopefully have a better quality of life, you can reach me to that exact number and you can WhatsApp me and I'll send you back some information. The program is affordable. It's only $33 per month at this moment. We have a special running for $99.99. It takes you for three full months. And um, there are persons on our platform today who may want to share a testimony or two. I don't know if any of them are willing, but I know quite a number of the persons who are left here on our Zoom are a part of that program. And I don't know if any of them would like to share quickly how their journey has been so that somebody who may be watching a little later on can benefit. Okay. And, uh, so okay. can you guys you hear go. me? So yes, can we can. We can see you person, in just a second. I could be the first person to, to definitely testify. This is amazing. Um, Y'all just do not understand. So I'm just so grateful to be a part of this. I never even thought that I'd be on a Zoom channel cooking in front of the world or where this would lead me or, or take me to do this stuff. This is just amazing mm -hmm. and it's worth it. So I've already paid for the annual fee That's right. of the, the class. This is such a blessing. You get up at 5 a.m. to work out. You get your steps in, you get this habit. So if you have problems with your knees, that's gonna go away. If you have, I had issues with balance. You know, um, and so I had issues with balance. I would fall over. That is going away. And um, and flexibility. So I'm getting more flexible with the classes that we learn. And then my um, my husband, he, today, he did a class with Sister Marlene, and she's going to be learning more skills, learning more things, and her class is just mm -hmm. going to get better. And now we're going to be, you know, messing with our toes and making sure we have flexibility in our toes because toes are important and everybody is talking about um grounding and foot stuff and we need flexibility in our people don't realize we need flexibility in our toes and you could have injuries in your toes mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. and your feet so you want to prevent all those things you want all your body to be functioning properly. You want flexibility in all areas of the body. You want strength in all areas of the body. And um, this is really good stuff. Mm. And uh, we learned, so there's so many things we learned. Menopause, um, the importance of drinking water, why um, our nutrition needs to be better. Oh, there's so many things we learned. The different vitamins that you can take for different ailments. A dollar a day is so small and takes the doctor away, in my opinion, mm -hmm. right? A dollar a day meeting with Sister Marlene takes the doctor away, mm -hmm. right? And you learn so much more, the importance of sunlight, um, the importance of exercise and flexibility. And, and you can see this person 
you know, you she's motivating. So she's older than me, has more energy than me, has more flexibility. And I feel that by the time I get to her age, I'll be doing what she does and more. And it's also a rebuke because I have a husband, a personal trainer, <laughs> almost 30 years of experience, which I never use or never ask or never bother, never trouble. And I'm going to have to make some changes. So it's just, and so it's a start. You never know what the road or what, what journey the Lord is going to take you. Mm-hmm. But all you have to do is just show up. I show up every day. And now look at what I'm doing. I didn't know how to cook, right? And now I'm on this journey. Now I can cook something, right? I'm making rice and peas. I'm making um, West Indian rice and peas, something I never thought I could do. And I'm making Mm. because of this program. And if you don't see the value of this, I don't know what to say, because this has blessed me more than she will ever know. She has no idea. And my husband will love this meal and Bible study people in the church will love this meal. I'm so excited. I'll be feeding people, homeless people. They don't have to eat junk. We can give them quality food. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. This is excellent. And I can't wait to get that recipe book. And this is so accessible and easy. You'll be surprised the cookbooks that I have with so many complicated steps, so many complicated um, ingredients, and we need it to be more simple. Simple enough that a child can do it, a teenager can Mm -hmm. cook it. Mm -hmm. A college student with a low budget can cook this stuff. Amen. So listen, I have a confession. I haven't I haven't done the big price in a long time. So I have a confession, Marilyn. I've been saying two hours for the rice. Let me go in the book. Let me go in my my book. So it says an hour and a half. So we have half an hour left for our rice. (laughs) I have a confession. I haven't made my cook bake round. I do everything by my um let me show you my let me show you my um this is a part of my, my rice cooker. I have a stainless steel rice cooker, which has rice in there, by the way. I cook for my granddaughter. So I do my rice cooker. My rice cooker cook, cooks it perfect. Perfect. So I haven't done a baked brown rice in forever. So I'm so glad I looked in the book. This is something that said, go to the recipe. You can show them the recipe right for it for the brown rice, right? Page 38. Um, and it says an hour and a half. I haven't done it forever. I just didn't remember. So that's a confession. All right, one hour and a half. So it's an hour and a half. So my own has about 20 minutes. 20 minutes of cooking left, and yours is about the same. Yours was 11:33, but you put yours in the oven. I put my own in about 11:30 or so. All right. So that's the cookbook. When you go online, if you'd like to patronize um my small ministry, this ministry, something better, I have a cookbook, Vegetarian Delights by Marlene. And I do have a book that says 13 Steps to a Thinner You. We also have other books. That book. Or the 13 steps for a dinner you, that one I bought from Amazon. I want that cookbook. She wants the cookbook. So I got to get it back in print. I'm working on that as we speak with Amazon. So it should be back in print by Tuesday. Yeah. All right. So I'm working on that right now with Amazon to get it back in print because it's available in PDF, but I'm working with Amazon to get it back in print as we speak. This one's in print. It's available you can get it from Amazon. You can get it as a PDF also. Then we also have, um, it's like a devotional. You don't have to call it devotional. It's also um, that I'm working on as we speak also with Amazon and my um, person who's doing the cover for me to see if we can adjust the cover. That would be, um, it's a, I'm saying I'm um, too much. It's, it's, what's it called? Something better. It's, oh gosh, piece of name. It just slip, you know what? It just slips your mind. But it's it's my it's kind of like a devotional book. I I don't want to call it a devotional book because that's not what it is. It's in search of something better. Let me show you the cover right quick. I just opening it up in search of something better um, today. And that would just be a lot of the testimonies that I've of things I've gone through throughout my journey in being um, in ministry. Because a lot of times people think that being in ministry is just so oh, looks so exciting. <laughs> A biography. Say that again. Yeah, kind of. Like yes. a yeah. Okay, here it is. Let me show you that one in search of something better. 
And um, so I'm working there again with, uh, yeah, there we go. Let me share it with you guys. I'm working with my, one of my girls who helped me with my book covers. Uh, it didn't show up. Hmm. So I'm going to tell the hubby for an hour and a half and not for two hours. Yeah, not two hours. So we only have a short time, a short time. So that's the cover in search of something better today. And of course, I'm on the cover. And it's just basically about 13 chapters or more talking about um, my journey as I've experienced what all the miracles, I call it miracle stories. You know, a lot of times we don't share our miracle stories. And we've got so much we can share with the world. And so that's miracle stories of how God comes through just when you need him most. And of course, he doesn't always answer how we wish, but he answers the point best, that's best for us. Then if you become a part of our weight loss program, that would be me at 220 and me now. And then you get this book. And this here has a compilation of other recipes in there. So I look forward to hearing from you if you're not already a part of our program. Um, I look forward to you joining and being a part of our program. All right. So we're going to close out now. Hold on a second. Yeah. We're going to close out now. So our rice should be almost ready. I think we should just wait a few minutes. <laughs> I actually think we could. Yeah, our rice is going to be ready. <clears throat> Sorry, in just a short order. I'm going to just peek in mine. Ooh, the burgers look great. The burgers look yummy. Anybody else wanted to share before we close out? Sorry. Okay, let's see what your rice looks like. Ooh, I'm burning up my hand, burning up my fingers. Okay, let's see. Ay, 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 ay. Listen, when I tell you this skillet is heavy, this skillet is heavy. We'll put it there. Let's check the rice. Let's check it. Can you see what's going on in the power right? Thank you. Yeah. He said, great job. Ooh, it looks amazing. Who says, yo, yo, yo. Oh, Galaxy says, great job. That looks so good. Let's just check our rice, guys. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. That's our rice. Let me move my drinking glass. I want you to see. Oh, my rice is like ready, guys. Oh, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Let me bring it closer so you can see. All right, there goes our rice. Look at the steam coming from that. And it's fluffy. It's not friendly, right? That's what you want. You don't want friendly rice. I'm doing it awkward though, because I'm holding the camera. And let's see if it's ready. I'm just been tasting all morning. Whoa. I'm going to be totally now off. What see. happened? Oh, that's something. Now, happened. let's Ooh. see how. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, this is the. This is gonna my be own could, my own could take the next 15 minutes. It's a little crunchy. I don't like crunchy. So instead of an hour and a half, let's take it to an hour and a half. But it tastes good. It tastes good. Okay. All right. I'm gonna put it back Lord, and I'm gonna leave it for my full hour and a half. Take it off. Oh mm -hmm. this is all so good. Okay. You're okay. welcome. Galaxy it says needs, thank you. Huh? It needs more time. It does. My own needs more time. Morning. It needs the time. All right. So let it make sure it's nice and tight. Make sure it's tight so that the steam will cook every grain of rice. Because we don't want to add too much water to that. All right. So it needs the time. So I had said two hours. I probably may stick with my two hours, to be honest. Um Tastes good, though. Okay. Does it taste good? It does taste good. But we're going to stick to yeah. the two-hour time. Limit. So that's but my burger. Almost to... ready to flip, but I'm going to just switch my, my rice. So to... You have things. No, we're not going to stay on for the full two hours. We can't. I'm going to just go now and get ready for our cooking class for tomorrow. Decide what I'm going to do with that. Hold on, let me check these burgers. Hold on one second. I don't see that they're ready already, but guess what? I got to flip one. <laughs> I got to flip one already, right? I don't think they're quite, they're not quite where they need to be, but I can, I can still flip one. 
There you go. I'll leave it. See, mine's breaking. It has only been there like 15 minutes. I won't rush it. There we go. I put it back. All right. And that's that. Simple as ever. So in about 20 minutes or so, my rice will be ready. I'll leave it for another 20 minutes. It needs at least that much time. You put your rice back? Yes, I did. Okay, good. All right. So this is stuff. awesome. All right. Well, I, I hope that um, your rice comes out perfect. If it needs, if you think it's a little crunchy, then you could add like two tablespoons of water, three tablespoons of water, cover it, and just put it back. I may do that with my own, but because my moisture is totally gone. But I'm going to just let it kind of sweat in there for the next few moments and see how it goes. So until tomorrow, until tomorrow. Hold on a picture and put it in the chat. I shall do that. I shall do that. We will all put pictures in our chat. Yes. yes. Hold on. Yeah, for, I have an extra camera open. Yeah. I didn't realize that. And so oh. next time, something better today. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. <laughs> yes. Until next time, we will see you guys next time we cook together. I was just making sure that... um. I'm seeing two cameras. I'm seeing three cameras. I don't know why. Oh, I know what happened. Let me close this one. Hold on. There we go. Let's see if that makes a difference. Mm, okay, it doesn't matter. Anyway, until next time, we say farewell. See you guys next time on our cooking segment of Something Better Today. Say bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Love y'all. Bye. 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 Bye.